Hola, buenos días. Bienvenidos a Charro Talk. Hoy en día tenemos uh, de invitados a Sandy Torres y Beth Saucedo Concha. <risa> Pero no es Concha. Pero no es Concha. <risa> este, platíquenos de su trayectoria, de cómo iniciaron en este deporte. Empiezo, empezamos contigo, Sandy. Ok, um, yo empecé de escaramuza desde los 13, 14 años. Mi, pa, mi abuelo era charro en México. Mi papá es arrendador, Jorge Torres, que todos lo conocen. Es, siempre he sido la hija de Torres. <ríe> y uh, desde entonces empecé a competir con equipo Las Amazonas, con Dayanara Campos, en lienzo charro de Teresita, aquí en Miraloma. Y desde entonces seguí compitiendo a otros equipos, uh, a Salias, y ya hasta la fecha ya soy retirada del deporte un poco y empezando otra vez con mi niña. ¿Te vol volviste a regresar? Sí. <ríe> Qué bueno. Y... Um, pues soy hija de Chimiro Saucedo, este, y pues yo de toda la vida tengo montando desde que nací, antes de caminar, de caminar andaba yo en el caballo, pero empecé a competir como a los nueve años y, um, y se, monté en exhibición como a los cinco años, pero luego empecé a competir a, la, a los nueve. Um, monté en las Caramuzas las Pola de Oro y luego um, monté en las Caramuzas de Reinas y también um, en, con la Noria, con las Caramuzas de la Noria. Ya tengo mucho tiempo que no monto, pero tengo muchas ganas de hacerlo otra vez. Las dos, la verdad, tienen una trayectoria larga en este deporte, pero denos más detalles de, desde que iniciaron a lo que están haciendo ahorita. Sandy and I actually have a very long history together in it, and um, I mean, she may have started competing later on in life, but she was always around, and we would always see each other and stuff like that. So, I mean, I competed uh, like around when I was when I was nine. Uh, my sister used to actually ride in, and before Pico Rivera, there was this, Pico, Pico Rivera had its own charro team. Like it was called Los Charros de Pico Rivera. And my sister rode with um, Las Caramusas de Pico Rivera. So I was like their little mascot. Was this the, the arena in Pico Rivera? Was yeah, already, it, was, it, was it was already there, there yeah. Okay. And so like I oh, even fuck. remember the first time, oh, Hemita wants to be part of it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was like, something just came up behind me and I didn't see anything. I'm like, there's a ghost in your house. No, she's like, Agustin, keep your hands to yourself. No, I, 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 your hands are very firm. It. Oh my God. I literally felt, I'm like, why did I feel like a breeze on my back? And I look and there's nothing there. I'm it's like, her tail. <gasps> she like wrapped it around you. There's nobody there. I just had a whole heart attack. Fucking cat. For sorry, the people who didn't sorry, see the cat, up. explain I'm so what sorry. Oh, you I don't know if the cat that came out. out. No, we have put it in. Oh, for, God. For people who didn't see it, para los que no vieron, este, tenemos, llegó la, una visita, el, uh, un inquilino de, de Yvette, que asustó a Sandy. Hemita. Y she's cuando, like, she's very, es, es como su madre, que es el center of attention no. all the time. <laughs> so. Como la mamá de todos, ¿eh? que siempre quiere ser parte de... I y thought your house was haunted. A, a Sandy. Sorry, Sandy. Que era un okay, I literally thought that was a ghost. <laughs> so yeah, so when I was riding a, I was like their mascot in the in the Escaramuza de Pico Rivera, and so I even remember the first time I I did the punta. Like my dad didn't tell me anything. He just like put me on our horse on on one of their ho his, our horses. His name was Pancho. A lot of people that have been around me know Pancho. So <laughs> but he literally put me on the saddle. I'm sure I was tied on because I was little and he's like, vamonos. So I like, I just remember stopping in the middle of the arena and I just started crying and then my dad had to go get me. <laughs> I was like, so that was like my first time because I just like tons of people like applauding. It's like yeah. a little girl doing it. I mean, anybody that sees the little kids on the horse, it's like the cutest thing ever. So um, from there I went to um, Escuela de Oro, which was started by Vicky Renteria, which has started so many escaramuzas in the South. Um, Yeah, so I started with her and in Escuela de Oro. She kind of started the team, and then from there, she literally like got out in the first, <laughs> the first ride we ever did, <laughs> which she probably did for a lot of the teams too. <laughs> um, but yeah, so then we just, my sister and I, kind of continued with the with the Escuela de Oro, and and then we rode with those same girls for years and years, and we competed, and that's when we started like competing in, in the federation because in the beginning we kind of rode in the american in, in, yeah because we were in the, with the american federation at first and then we went with the mexican federation and we started competing so yeah and then i started competing against sandy that's the beginning of my life then from there on mine was a little bit different i mean no no me quería descaramos papa 
como muchos chatters, like, no, es mucha, you know. Y decía, si vas a montar, te vas a enseñar bien aquí y luego te vas a meter a una escaramuza. I'm like, eh, no, that doesn't sound fun. But, you know, mirando Escuela de Oro y otros equipos que las miraban la charreada es lo que me llamaba la atención. Porque si yo iba a la charreada, o sea, fuerza. Se me hacía una charreada de tres horas, like, oh, you know. No, no me llamaba la atención. Me encantaban los caballos. Ni los charros. And that was it. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Y en, um, tenía una prima que montaba con Amazonas en, en Miraloma. Y de ahí las miraba, las iba a ver. Y eso es lo que me llamaba la atención. Like, that, you know, that looks cool. Como ellas montando en, con Albarda, que Albarda yo no tenía. Y uh, de ir a verlas a practicar, um, Rosie López, hermana de Larry López, fue la que ya, ella ya no podía montar, iba a tener su familia, se casó, iba, she was pregnant, y me dice, you know, si tomas mi lugar, te doy mis cosas. Te doy, yo te doy mi vestido, usa tu sombrero, y, y ahí está, nomás para, you know, para que ella no dejara su equipo colgando, porque se tenía que salir. I was like, ok, let's do it. Y yo le decía a mi papá que iba a ir a caminar mi yegua. Entonces me iba a caminar mi yegua, pero me estaba yendo a la práctica. Él no sabía que... No, que me iba a meter. No, no, no. Entonces ya a la hora de que nos tocaba la presentación, pues ya me comprometí. So, según me iba a llevar a desfilar, pero I'm like, hey, ya, ya me tengo que presentar. It's like, no, pero no sabes montar. I'm like, well, I do now. I already <laughs> Entonces, did it. Yeah, I like, already did surprise. it. Surprise. <laughs> pero es que, you know, es como decía, mejor pedir per, uh, perdón que permiso. That's the beginning of it. Y pues ya me había comprometido, o so no le quedó otra más que no, no quedar mal. Yeah, so thanks to Rosie López que me dio la primera oportunidad y pues ya montando ahí, pues me, me piqué a la competencia y yo era la más joven del equipo y la más traviesa. And like, that, there's always that one troublemaker. I'm like, sorry, Dayanara. That was <laughs> y ahí seguí montando muchos años. Um, era un equipo muy familiar que... O sea, es lo primero que me encanta de la charrería es el que es un deporte muy familiar es un deporte familiar uh -huh. y este después de eso monté varios años uh, nuestra capitana también se retiró porque pues se casó tener familia y aquí si una de las muchachas querían seguir montando like oh you know let's do it let's do it y de ahí de pura por decir default me quedó de capitana, like, no supe ni cómo fue la, el brinco de ser la más traviesa capitana, esa era la que... A tener que ser la responsable. Ya, yeah, y, y de ahí empezamos y seguí otra vez el equipo por decir otra, la siguiente temporada, like, uh, the next round de ese mismo equipo de Amazonas, pero era yo ya capitana y de ahí tenemos a mis primas, a Claudia de la Torre um, y varias muchachas que igual éramos familiar. Entonces lo seguimos haciendo por... El deporte y el convivio. Ahí metí a mis hermanas, a Gaby, a Christy, a montar de chiquitas también. Y ya después, como me iba a graduar de, la, de high school, pues ya es otra vez, ya nos retiramos, ya lo hice mucho tiempo. Y se juntó otras muchachas que también estaban montando con uh, Vicky. Y salieron la idea, Carmen, y Vanessa, Carmen Quiñones y Vanessa García, que hay que hacer un equipo para competir, competir. Entonces, no solo de por decir de exhibición y, you know, just for fun, hay que, hay que echarle ganas a competir oficialmente y, y a ver qué pasa. Y yo fui la última que dije que sí, porque yo like, oh, ya lo hice, o sea, ¿qué más voy a hacer? Ya, it was fun y, y ellas insistieron. O sea, ¿tú tenías en mente que ya no ibas a yeah. montar? Ajá, uh -huh. ya, yeah. o sea, ya me tocó participar en los congresos, and it was fun y ya estuvo. Y ellas insistieron, entonces, por ellas dos nos juntamos varias que queríamos uh, tirarle a eso. O sea, que tenían la, la misma mentalidad de sí, competir. que iba a ser una disciplina diferente, no nomás cuando podamos, y de ahí empezó el siguiente equipo, Asalias, que fue con el equipo que me re retiré, pero de ahí empezamos un nivel competitivo diferente. Y ahí duré hasta que también ya después tuve mi hija, y ya. <risa> ya no, ya no, no le iba tirar las mismas ganas y el compromiso que le estaba echando cuando estaba compitiendo, que era live, breathe, eat, you know, sweat, blood and tears, que le estábamos dando. Y entonces me retiré cuando dije, ok, hasta aquí llegué. Uh -huh. Pero explica por qué es que tenías esa mentalidad, por qué es que tú decidiste ser competitiva a hacerlo just for fun. 
Because you wrote after you had Izzy, no? Or you stopped writing completely? No, I did. Oh, I, yeah. I did. Okay. I wrote a little yeah, bit. Yeah, because yeah. I remember you still wrote a but little bit. But it wasn't, yeah, I, I did. I did for a few years. Pero ya no era, o sea, yo ya había llegado a lo, ya le di lo que le di. Si no pasé a final o no hice lo que hice, ya, ya le había dado el 120%. Era todo lo que le pude dar. Y hasta ahí llegué, and, and that's it. But you ended on you a know? good note, too. Because yeah. yeah. you guys uh-huh. were, you know, you guys did your, your, your thing. And, thank you, thank yeah. you. No, yeah. the, la, la verdad que sí, porque yo me acuerdo, um, fue un Nacional USA en, en uh, Globe, Arizona. Y yo, yo me, fue ese año que yo inicié mi equipo. Yo me acuerdo que las vi montar. Y sí era una diferencia de, no, no sé qué año iniciaron ustedes, pero sí se veía la diferencia de nivel cuando, o sea, ese año, from seeing you guys ride another time to that day, you can tell, like, oh, okay, something changed. Pero ¿qué fue lo que cambió? O sea, ¿qué hicieron diferente? La verdad fue querer hacer algo imitando a lo que estaban haciendo los equipos en México. O sea, las jinetes que traía eran del calibre que tienen en México. ¿Por qué yo también no? O sea, de jinetas no, no me falta nada. Entonces, era en la manera de trabajar. Y primeramente, don Víctor Muñoz. Megan Gutiérrez no trajo el fue el que los, entre, él los entrenaba. Porque yo había tenido otros entrenadores que, you know, te venían y te ayudaban un poquito y pues, como decía él, pasen por su globo, por su participación y gracias. Ahí nos vemos a la otra. Y él, la verdad, fue el que cambió todo. Porque dije, que, o sea, que, me, que ya yo me creía, pues, o sea, ya sé, ya sé cómo montar, ya sé todo. O sea, ya, bueno, lo vamos a traer para las demás, según. Y en la primera práctica, I'm like, oh, no, este es todo rollo. O sea, queremos aventarnos con las de allá, ponernos a competir con ellas. Hay, hay que, you know, hay que echarle las ganas a esto. Y este, luego, luego, o sea, ese año, me acuerdo de Globe, ese fue el primer año que, que nos juntamos, las que quedamos en ocho que íbamos a competir. Y no porque según éramos, you know, la, las que íbamos a competir o nos creíamos las mejorcitas, le, le batallamos. No entramos a la primera competencia o según íbamos a ganar en la primera, nada. Ni en los primeros tres quedamos, ni en la primera, ni en la segunda, ni en la tercera. And we're like, ¿qué pasó? ¿Qué está pasando? Porque, o sea, traigo las jinetes, traemos dos caballos, ¿qué, ¿qué está pasando? Porque no, si venimos a ganar, ¿qué está pasando? Y la verdad fue hasta conocernos, al perder tan feo, según ir, ir con una confianza, y de todas maneras no hacerlo, it's like, ok, let's humble, humble pie real quick y a ver qué está pasando. Era hasta que no nos conocíamos súper bien. O sea, yo saber qué va a ser mi compañera de aquel lado, eh, saber la mejor, la que, sacar lo mejor de cada persona. O sea, la, mi co-capitana de aquel año, de aquel lado, me tenía que saber lo que yo estaba pensando adentro del lienzo. Y hasta Globe, que fue la última oportunidad, porque dijimos, ok, si no ganamos aquí, ya estuvo. Aquí tronamos porque no hicimos a lo que venimos a hacer. Y este, es no darnos ninguna opción. Y ahí, like, ok, we make it or break it, o lo, o lo tienes o no. Y ahí no nos dimos ninguna opción de, de no hacerlo bien. Y de ahí, ya, ok, ya nos agarramos nuestra onda y de ahí para arriba. Ese fue el momento que, like, okay, esto sí nos gustó. O sea, se sabe diferente y se sintió diferente. Y de aquí para arriba. Y no dejarnos la oportunidad de dar menos de lo que estábamos dando en ese entonces. Que ahí levantó, creo que se levantó el nivel también de, de California. It was like a standard. Like, okay, we all have to do good. Y cosas que hacíamos, que, que estábamos tratando de imitar lo que estaban haciendo en México. O sea, porque aquí en California no, no podíamos, no teníamos los... Uh, los puntos marcados. Eso fue algo que es tan sencillo, ¿por qué no lo podíamos hacer aquí? ¿Y por qué hay así? O sea, hay que usar lo que, lo que estaban usando ellas, esas palanquitas, cosas que son mínimas, pero ventajas. Nosotros fuimos las primeras que las empezamos a marcar aquí, pero por estar emulando lo que están haciendo en pero, México. ¿Sabes por qué? Yo me acuerdo que antes no te permitía el reglamento uh, well, unless you were cheating, no, <risa> <risa> pero antes no te permitía el reglamento uh, uh, to actually poner puntos, tenías que decir, este es un punto, este es, eh, hasta, well, hasta en un año, I think no it was 2006. Ya, yeah, no decía que no. Oh, yeah. So, ahí es donde me colgué. O sea, ahora, ahora ya puedo decir, yeah. pero mismamente uh, en Globe, yo fui a marcar los, los puntos a las 2 de la mañana, porque no me decía que no, pero para que no dijera nada. 
¿Y si, por qué no? Si los puntos están ahí, eran para todo el equipo. A mí, mi competencia no era la otra compañera que ahí estaba yeah, en Yeah, but not everybody's puntos are always the same. So it was always like other people were putting more. But they should be because every, cada ruedo tiene el centro. I know, but some people's like, it might be a little different for you because you know, sometimes like people have to go a little bit this way to give more time for the other girl or whatever it is. Pero el punto debe ser igual. El centro es el centro. Como lo uses, ya es tu problema. Pero si tú sabes que está aquí el, el centro, si tú le quieres dar antes del centro, perfecto. Si tú te quieres pasar por todo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, now it's mandatory, right? Yeah. yeah, pero, o sea, yo lo estaba marcando y quien lo ocupara, lo, ahí está. Y, y luego hubo un año que era, cada quien tiene que marcar sus propios puntos. Like, That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, everybody had And a different Everyone's punto. different. Pero, pero it shouldn't but it be different. It shouldn't. it shouldn't be, you're right, but pero everybody sí, does. Cada, cada quien era como, cada quien marca sus sus puntos y tienes razón, o sea, yo me acuerdo que una entrenadora me dijo, mientras el reglamento no te prohíba en hacer algo, tú lo puedes hacer y luego cambiaron el reglamento. Exacto, mientras sí. el, el reglamento no lo mencione, no lo puedes hacer. Mm -hmm. And now it's back to if it says you can't do it, you can do whatever you want. Y igual no, no estaba haciendo yo algo diferente que no estaban haciendo en México, entonces Don Vic en paz descanse me dio la, la confianza de Entender el reglamento y entender cómo usarlo a mi ventaja, que es algo que no, yo no sabía antes de eso. O sea, yo participaba, entraba a mi hoja y me daba mis puntos y that's it. Entonces, hasta que él me enseñó bien cómo analizar y es algo que está para todas, porque el reglamento está para todas. Pero quién te lo enseña y cómo te lo enseñan es diferente. Porque, o sea, la, lo que también miro de ahora es muchos entrenadores, o sea, las vamos a, estamos dependiendo de ellas. Y Don Vic fue de los entrenadores que te dio todas las, uh, herramientas. las herramientas para tú poder hacerlo. Él venía dos, tres veces al año y me dejaba todo listo para que yo pudiera hacer, por decir, su trabajo y, y mantener lo que él me estaba dejando. Y, y tú, um, Yvette, porque al principio dijiste que lo hacías for fun, and, pero también estuviste con la Noria y era un equipo oh, no, lo, no lo hice for fun. I've always... Yo siempre fui competi competitiva. Uh -huh. I've always been a very competitive person. Like, I, it, it could be anything, yeah. any kind of <laughs> sport. Or, yeah. Yeah, I'm always like that. Um, but I, when we were at the Espoladoro, we did compete. Um, and we, we did take it very seriously. But like she said, once you got a trainer yeah. from Mexico, it was like a different story. Like, you could get, there was trainers that would come from Tijuana. Mm -hmm. And they were all great. Like, and like, there's still some that are amazing, you know, and that... Mm -hmm. I, I have my hats off to them too. But when you would get a trainer from Mexico, it was like a different story. It was like a different, um, they just brought a different game. I feel like we had an inside scoop. Yeah, they, yeah, exactly. Level up. Right. So um, we had uh, Cristina Malo, which was a great one. I mean, I have endless trainers. I've had so many trainers. Which I'm sure you've learned something from each from one each of one, them. From each one, yeah. And to be quite honest with you, I feel like I've always worked better with a trainer that challenges me more rather than they just like, be nice to me. Like I've always worked better with them, like put install, installing that in fear in me where they're, they're like, I don't want to disappoint. Yeah. So I, I do like to be told. Yeah. And um, it's not fear. It's a challenge because a challenge, they want to see you do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So, um, when we made it to Mexico, um, with Espola de Oro, um, that's kind of where everything changed for me in my whole view of Chararia because, uh, when I, when I, when we first made it to Mexico, I had, I was also modeling and acting. That's kind of when I had all, we started to get more work and stuff like that. Um, and I had gone for a uh, casting for, do you guys remember that one song, Maria, Maria, that one oh, from, yeah. with, uh, with Carlos Santana? Yes. So I had gone for a casting for that and I was so nervous and I like messed it up so bad. Like <laughs> I was casting for Maria to be that girl that's walking down the street and um, I messed it up so bad. Long story short, I was so mad at myself. There was a Pantene commercial that I was not even a part of like the casting process. And I just walked into it and I did it and I got it. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> I find out that I got the casting and it's around the same. I got the, I got the Pantene commercial, but it was at the same time that we had made it to the Congreso and we, we were going to go. It was all going to be done at the same time. And my mom's like, what do you want to do? You want to go? To the Pantene commercial, or you want to go to the Congreso? And I was like, well, I'm going to go to the Congreso. So you chose Congreso <laughs> for making course, money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I mean, that would have opened a lot more doors for me, yeah. but it was the best decision I ever made in my life because of the fact that if I would have not gone to that Congreso in Saltillo, I would have never met Pati Carrasco, who ended up um, 
Valeria, Valeria Primera Coutinho at the time, now she's Basurto, but uh, Valeria Coutinho was Reina de la Federación, and she wanted a girl from a different, like far away. She had she had girls from uh, other states. De Mexico. Right. And uh, she wanted to make sure she got someone from really far away. And Pati was like, I know a girl that rides good. She's from the United States. She's not going to be problematic. You know what I mean? Like, I think in their mind, they think, oh, United States, they're not going to know. They're, what are they going to be able to do, you know? So I, I, I met them in Saltillo and they invited me to ride with them. Sure enough, that's just like changed my whole passion for charreria. It just became my world. So, and from, from there on in my life, I have always used that as my platform. And, and I'm so grateful. It's been it's been so many so so many opportunities that I've had on television shows and in every single show I've ever been on, everything that I've ever done from the pageant life to competing on American Grit. It was that was my thing. And I, I was just going to ask you that if you feel that competing and being in a competitive sport, como Escaramuza, do you feel that that helped you in your career as in, in modeling, acting? Do you feel that like gave you that courage or taught you certain values? In a way it did, but because of the fact that I've been competing all my life and I think I installed that in my mind, it did because in, in acting and modeling, you hear more no's than you hear yeses. Mm -hmm. So it was always like a lose for me, a lose for me, a lose for me, a lose for me, a lose for me. And then it was like a win. It was like, oh my God, you know, finally a win. So it's like, it, it it is, but it does it does give you a lot of disappointment too because you 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 think it's you and it's not always you. You're you're not always you know. There's always it's not always about being the prettiest girl in the room. It's not always about it's it's, it's, it's you about the right yeah. I wasn't fit. the right person, you know what I mean? And especially in the time when I was modeling and acting, the Latina look was never in. Like I went to a Tommy Hilfiger casting, and I remember they made me. I mean, I was I'm telling you, like I was so thin. They made me cut my hair so like. And straight, 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 so that I wouldn't look as ethnic. And I and I got the, I got the casting. I went all the way through. And in the end of the day, they were more interested in the pants I was wearing than me. You know what I mean? It's like you're. I. I it was always really hard. So that yes, in the sense where like it was constantly a disappointment because I was like very competitive. <laughs> but it's not but about I that. Think so. But yeah. I think the discipline of it. O sea, la, la disciplina que se requiere para estar a charreria y luego. O sea, yo, yo no le iba a ser de reina. I couldn't do that. That wasn't for me, ever. O sea, ¿qué tan difícil era la disciplina de estar, participar en, en lo de reinas? O sea, yeah. you were the first one to do it. Ya, yeah, eso te iba a decir, porque no fuiste, estaba fuiste ahorita. la primera, y porque ahorita hay reinas, pero son reinas mm -hmm. de Estados Unidos y reinas de California. Well, I have like so, I have, I have like an unpopular opinion on that because I feel like, I want to say that I'm the first and the only, but not because there isn't an opportunity. This is that the Escaramuza de Reinas that is here now is not the same Escaramuza de Reinas that was when I was doing it. Um, no, and it's not knocking one or the other. And but I'm not because no, yeah. it's like, it's just not there anymore. It's not that the girls that the girls that do it now are just like, oh no, like, no. I, I, I have very high respect for the Reinas that are here now. Like um, the one, the one that, that we were just talking about, what was your name again again? Um, pimienta. Oh, pa 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 like I, mm -hmm. I think she's amazing. Like mm -hmm. I love the way she's she speaks. Doing an amazing I job, love, yes. I love how she represents. And she, you know, I, I, I remember when Chararia, when I was really young. I'm sure you were there too, when they were taking um, manganas away. Like we went to Washington. We went to go as, as like to represent. And I was interviewed. And they asked me, "What is your, you know, tell me about yourself." I was like nine, ten, and they asked me, "What do you want to do when you grow up?" And I said, "I want to be a model and escaramuza." That was my answer when I was when they interviewed me on on the news, and we went all dressed as charros and escaramuza de Adelita, and we went to go represent to try to fight so they wouldn't take manganas away. Like, and and I saw a video of her the other day, and I thought it was so beautiful how she was there to represent. Now that they're trying to take away the cinches and things like that, like, you know, well, that's so. And and back to <laughs> that's a whole other no, topic. But what but, I'm saying is, what you yeah. actually estabas en un equipo de escaramuza de México, o sea, okay. estabas con participando con puras reinas de México en México right. entrenando en México. So escaramuza de reinas somos de la Federación de escaramuza de reinas. It's escaramuza de reinas. Now it's la escaramuza de las de las amigas de la reina. Mm -hmm. 
Like a lot of the girls are married. You're not allowed to be a reina if you're married and you have kids. Like that's just not allowed. It's not in the regla- it's not you're not supposed to. It's not in the reglamento, but it's just not. That's just it wasn't a part it's of not the thing. So then. a lot of the yeah. girls now are not even reinas. Mm-hmm. They're just friends of her or they were or past reinas. And and it's not to say that the girls that did, came from here in the United States are not reinas. That's not it. Just saying that that is not. No, just but that right. what you participated the in. The criteria that, for right. you, what and was so, that like? And so in this, as Escaramusa de Reinas, we were re- we were required Era to ride. We were una requi- reina de un equipo right? charro. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we were required to ride in four torneos de la federación, which were, I have them written down because I'm so bad at my Spanish, Torneo de Aniversario de la, la Federación Mexicana de Charrería, de Torneo de Constitución, Constitución, Constitución mm-hmm. Torneo Revolución, and el, el Combinato Nacional de Charros. So we were required in the Nacional to ride in the first opening one mm-hmm. and in the one where in the Charro Completo at the end we closed. So that they don't do that now. They ride once. I was there. We had a practice once a week. How would I you was do it? living there. Oh, okay. I lived there. And when I tell you the first two years of me doing it, I didn't have I didn't have someone to stay with. I was young. I was so young. I literally would just go from to whoever would take me, whatever girl in the other reina and escaramos that would take me in to stay that week or whatever. And I mean, imagine like there was not, I mean, they had cell phones back then, but it was like, we didn't have access to it now. Like if I was going to make a phone call, you better be prepared for a $700 <laughs> phone bill at the end of the month. So, I mean, you I, sola, you'd yeah, go by, yourself. by myself. Mm-hmm. And I would be like, because it's expensive. Imagine like I had to come up with like, I mean, and I'm so blessed and I, and I don't want to sound ungrateful because I am so blessed that I had, um, I was, a, I was a reina de la noria and I have to, you know, La Noria helped me a lot, even though like most of it was my dad and my mom that that helped me through it. But um, there was no, I didn't, I couldn't work. I couldn't have a job, like a full time job, and be like, peace out, guys. I'm gonna be gone all summer. Like I, <laughs> like who's no one's gonna want to, <laughs> no one's gonna want that. So um, you yeah, you couldn't like, book any commercials mm-hmm, or go to castings because you were doing that. <laughs> well, yeah, and then I mean, honestly, I really took a break from it. I like completely stopped doing that and put that aside and focused on this because it was you know four years of my life that I was going to be doing that and um yeah so I was there any imagine like you were there in the Nacional when you guys made it to the finals Mm -hmm. how hard was it for you to stay there for the whole time that you were gonna you knew you were gonna compete at the end like how long did you have to be there well I actually had to be there longer than everybody else because my uh B team's they rode like a week before, so I stayed there the week, and then we had to stay in next, so it was like almost two weeks. Okay, imagine. I didn't have, like a lot of the girls, and I, I want to say that they get funded, their hotel gets funded by the Federación, I think. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. I might be wrong. That all came out of my pocket. So, like, I had to be there from the beginning of the, of the, tor- of the Nacional to the end, because in the middle of the, 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 after the second week, they had this kind of the, re- the Baile de Reinas. I had to be there for that too. So, I mean, I was there the whole time. Like, that's expensive. It's not, it just, it's not the same as it was for the girls now. And I'm not, da- I'm not, again, I'm not downplaying. No, it's just, just your experience. It's not, it's not, a, it's just yeah, not the same yours. as it was back then. It was different, it was different criteria. It's a time. different criteria. It's a different team. And I think it's good because, o sea, abierto las puertas para más. Ahorita cuantas están, tienen la right. oportunidad yeah. But yeah, she, really she was part. a stepping yeah, but stone. Saying, yes, o sea, se abrieron las puertas para que tengan más muchachas esa oportunidad. Yeah. Porque antes, o sea, fue mucho sacrificio para que hubiera una de Estados Unidos que le dieran ese lugar. Y ahora and there was girls that had tried. Like, like there was a girl from, I want to say Mexicali that went there, that went before in the same team that I was going to ride in with, the, with, with Valeria. And... Um, she couldn't hang. She like was like, this is too it's much too work. Much. I can't do it. She left her horse there. Thank God, because I had a horse to ride for the first <laughs> year. And she left her horse there because she couldn't ride him because he was too, he like didn't know how to be in this kind of musa. And then once she saw me at the Congreso with the horse that I had like made for her practically, <laughs> she took him and started riding him in her team. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, I like, I'm telling you, everything in my life has always been in one way or another, it's, it's worked out. In, in that situation. And Charria has been a huge part of it, even with American Grit. 
or Los Cowboys, you know what I mean? Like, I know that some people might see Los Cowboys and be like, eh, or some people like really appreciate it. Like, I still to this day get comments on my Instagram or my social media about, oh my God, I used to, I used to watch Los Cowboys and and people from, from Charria, like when I went to the Congreso this past year, I went to Zacatecas and people are like, oh, Los Cowboys, like people still, you know, and then American Grit, it was a big stepping stone on that too, you know, my pageants, big stepping stone. Like, so I'm so grateful for it and... And it's just such, so much more for it. Like, you know, like, especially like when my dad passed away, like, I remember people, um, like I was in a Ducala and like, <clears throat> sorry, the, um, the locutor like did this whole thing about like just saying how my dad was his really good friend of his and just, you know, like kind of gave him an homage on my, you know, or like, um, Bebe Guadalupe's too, you know, like when he did the cancer event, he, he, you know, he like everybody wore the little things yeah. for my dad. You mm -hmm. know the, so I mean, I just and then even like for his funeral and stuff, like there were people showed up as in their suits and it was just really pretty. You know, and like it's just so appreciative that it's. I know we're not like blood related. I was gonna tell you that's the representation of lo que es la charreria, que es familia. Even if you, como dices, you're not blood related. Lo más importante. Pero, pero no sé si es el único deporte. I can't quote it, but. Um, si es uno de los deportes donde practican toda la familia, el abuelito, hasta la abuelita, el papá, la mamá, el hijo, el nieto. It's like, it really is a, a family sport. And when there's someone like, like your dad who, you know, people know they, you see that appreciation and, and love for your, for your family members. You know that, that there's that love for yeah, family. So Yeah, I might not expect to cry about that. <laughs> But I think that, that's, that's, that's authentic. number one. Yeah. That, yeah. It's no lo más importante. That wasn't even on my list. <laughs> <laughs> it's algo que, it's literally number one. It's, it's más importante. O sea, familia. Mm -hmm. Tienes familia que, es familia que escoges. O sea, con mi equipo tuvimos... De ahí sacamos tres equipos, del equipo que estamos hablando, o sea, teníamos las niñas que eran hijas, like, you know, Veronica Sandoval had her daughters, she has a whole half a team right there, teníamos las bebés, uh, las medianas con mi hermana Gaby y luego nosotras, entonces era tres niveles, pero era, creo que era algo que se notaba en nuestro equipo, igual como, como dices que el, el nivel de competencia era algo también que se notaba más, o sea, era la familia. Donde íbamos, iba la porra, iban todas las niñas, eran que mi tía y mi tío, o sea, I've got three, but I'm writing, here's, te toca a ti, o sea, era una unión, o sea, no, no, no nos teníamos que preguntar, ya, yeah, preocupar, porque, o sea, la misma familia charra te iba a cuidar a tus niños. Mm -hmm. Y esas cosas que, o sea, es más importante de la competencia y es, es lo más importante, o sea, yo, yo, yo y Flor competíamos, like, you, tú y yo competíamos. You know what I mean? Y en el lienzo es un rollo que, ok, es, es a la But competencia. But if you needed, if your team needed chapetones and your didn't match, we got everybody to take up your chapetones and give yes. them to each other. And It happened in yeah, Zacatecas. Well, you weren't yeah. writing that time, huh? No, but I was the one that was yeah. in the middle of it. Ella, te, ella te fue, uh, montamos en, en Zacatecas, era la, sem, it was a, en limonatoria and the, yeah, the, the girls' one. horses se lastimaron y íbamos a practicar en la mañana. And Sandy, in the one moment, yeah. I had to go, I'm like, Judy, help. Yeah. O sea, necesito un caballo ahorita. Se le encolicó y ahorita es la, you, they give you 15 minutes. ¿Qué es eso? Yeah. Y ahí Judy podía haber dicho, sabes que no puedo. Creo que su entrenador was probably like, don't you dare. En el momento que me dice, ten, ahí está. Me bajo del caballo y te lo da. O sea, that's, yeah. that's priceless. Yeah, and, and it wasn't my horse. We were borrowing yeah. horses. I was like, oh, shit, no es mi horse. Oye, ya pasé tu caballo, eh. <laughs> But yeah. I mean, pero es lo que se hace porque sabes por qué porque uno sabe los sacrificios que ustedes no you you good now. <laughs> That's what was like just disintegrating on my face. No. Uno sabe los sacrificios que como nosotros ustedes igual hicieron para llegar a ese momento y que te pase algo así en not just en Estados Unidos en las de México también tienen sus sacrificios pero uno sabe lo que es tener que viajar y and of course I'm llevar gonna give tu you, caballo uh -huh. y no te you, you know your horse just died. And you have to go on and write. O sea, en eso es algo que es, es priceless. O sea, Especially es, es in, a, in una escaramuza, en un equipo. I'm sure it's for the like, same for the guys. Like, it's kind of like you have to set all of your feelings aside. And it's like, they are my part. Like, I have eight other people to worry, seven other people to worry about it. Like, mm -hmm. I can't, 
you know, I don't care whatever I'm going through. It don't matter. It just it has to be about the girls. Yeah, it's us. But it, it, it's We're back one. to my point. Like, yeah. en, o sea, damos competencias. Like, yo y Flor andamos el chongo all the time. Concha. <laughs> No, me and Flor. Oh, oh, I yeah, thought you were. No, no, no. <laughs> Story of your life. <laughs> I'm, yo soy la hija hermana de Flor. No one even knows who Flor is. I was talking about Flor, oh. but I mean, in este momento, o sea, Flor is not even dice, here. We're talking about her. Yeah, y Flor me dice, te encargo ahí. He's like, you don't have to tell me, me te la encargo. I'm, I'm watching your daughter. I'm watching your daughter. Yeah. O sea, and we all know, see, si, see, si, si vamos. You're watching mine. Like, es algo que es es más importante y, y lo número uno que nos trae a la charrería. O sea, a, a, of course, la adrenalina de competir y todo eso va igual, pero ese es un nivel y afuerita no me tienes que decir dos veces. And you know, o sea, I have she to say, this, me. Like we just, this has we just nothing do this. to do, I mean, it is kind of what we were talking about, but when, when Izzy was doing her first little ride when we were at Tier Ranch, And um, Anali was in the in the in the parte de oh, yeah. uh -huh. and um, she was so nervous. Izzy, she was like like kind of having like a little bit of a panic oh, attack, right? She gets anxiety yeah. Yeah. yeah, and so Anali sitting there going, "You got this. Aww. You got this. You can do it. Don't worry about nothing. Just go in." And it was like yeah. the cutest thing. And I'm like, "That's us. It's like the little the little yes. version of us." Except for Sandy, no, bitch, But you got this. So sweetie, they're so much sweeter. They're so much nicer than than us. And then after when you're done, we're gonna go get drunk. <laughs> Just go do it. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't know that. Yeah, it was like the cutest thing. And then um, they were all switching saddles because one of the other girls was like uncomfortable with her saddle, and Arali's all little, but she's. You know, taking off saddles and mm -hmm. waiting for someone to grab it because she's too short to get the one on top. <laughs> and it was just the cutest thing. Like, yeah, and my dad is like, Anali, ¿quieres entrar? Remember, or is that your video? I'm like, I'm putting your daughter no, in a competition. No, dejas, uh, dejas venir a Anali. She was going to watch. She wasn't yeah. going to compete. She's like, so your daughter's in a dress. She's going to compete. I'm like, oh, I'm sure she's loving it. <laughs> yeah, my dad's like, ¿quieres? ¿No le vas a entrar tú? And she's like, well... Yeah, oh, yeah, was, there okay. you go. You weren't there. No, you weren't there. I think you just messaged me like, yeah. watch my kid. Yeah, watch my kid. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, my dad put on Ali like. Like nothing. Como Izzy si la conocieran por, porque, I mean, Izzy y, y Anali pues se conocen en charreadas. Like, we have but pictures of them de chiquitas, that. yeah. You know? But, pero todavía tenido, tuvieron esa hermandad que, tam, que están aprendiendo en este deporte. De, de ustedes, que les pusieron el ejemplo. Yeah, that's true, because en qué otro deporte, o sea, She goes, o sea, Isabela está en band or whatever, pero yo no voy a hacer eso con los papás de band. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going? O sea, ni la dejo ir. O sea, es, es una comunidad, es una... Diferente. Como se dice, it takes a village, this is our village. Yeah. Y, y platica ahora que, que mencionaron de Izzy, platica ahora la diferencia, porque ahora monta tu hija, you were very competitive, y como, eres una mamá muy competitiva, una mamá pacífica, ¿cuál es tu experiencia ahora que tu hija está montando? Yo soy el tipo de mamá que es al revés que Isabela. <risa> so, so, Isabela, me, por todas esas razones que acabamos de decir, es la razón que me acuerda de okay, lo de charrería. Porque igual compitiendo, cuando me retiré compitiendo a ese nivel, era como decimos, estar peleando con, you know, que este botón es diferente de tu camisa, eso que tiene que ver con, con la calidad de trabajo que te estoy dando dentro del lienzo, o sea, te quedó un poquito de mal, mal sabor, sabor de, boca. de tantas las peleas que ahora ya, por eso se concha, like, not to knock it down, but it's like, oh, it's so much harder, tenías que estar, y más siendo de, de acá, o sea, era muy difícil y ya, it's like, okay, that's it, ya, ya estuvo de estar peleando, y, y yo quería hacerle a Isabela equipo desde chiquitita. O sea, el equipo que teníamos a uh, Salidas Infantil tenían cinco años cuando empezaron, cuando teníamos tres equipos. Entonces, el día que, la, que estaba en el equipo A, no estaba al 100, te me bajas a la B y te se sube la, la de B al A. Si no está, bajamos a, a la de infantil y se sube hasta arriba. Entonces, ya las tenías, ya era un... Rotando. Yes, ya tenías tu backup, así es que al 100 o, o no. Entonces, era muy, uh, mucha competencia. O sea, Sí, o sea, estábamos tenés, haciendo, era, uh -huh. era al tiro y era nuestra familia y X. Entonces, yo quería hacer lo mismo con Isabela. Y ella like, no, you yell too much. You <laughs> yell too oh much. Oh, my God, Edis, oh. I, I wanted to ride last year. Edis is like, I never want to ride with you. You take it way too serious. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I, I'm, <laughs> she's like, I can't ride okay. with you. You take it too serious. <laughs> That's her. That's Isabela. Entonces, después de que se me enfermó, entonces ya mejor ni le moví porque yo sé que no puede competir así, 
Entonces, ella no está al 100 cada rato. O sea, todos tenemos mal día, pero ella no, de repente está bien un día y al siguiente día no se puede levantar. Para los que no conocen, a, pues nosotros conocemos a Izzy, <risa> a platíquenos poquito de, de la enfermedad que tiene. Um, tiene... No, no, we'll make it, we'll make it brief, because it, it, it's, it's, o sea, es bueno lo que, en el porque, porque lugar es, que está ahorita. Sí, porque, pero it's, it's something that you should put out there for people, you know what I mean? It's, to, to bring, it's, to bring, bring awareness. awareness. Bring awareness. So, yo no quería, después de que se enfermó, ya no quería que competiera, because, you know, that's your baby, you have to keep her in a bubble. Pero su enfermedad es un autoimmune disease, se llama uh, atypical hemolytic uremic syndrome. Es su mismo cuerpo hace, um, I don't know what antibodies are, pero <laughs> anticuerpos en, uh, que su sistema de inmune los está atacando. Entonces, su cuerpo constantemente está peleándose con su mismo. Entonces, le dan medicamento para um, bajarle su uh, immune system, su, su sistema de inmunidad, para que no esté, por decir, acabándose ella sola. Entonces, su cuerpo está trabajando lo doble que nosotros. Entonces, y cualquier cosa, ella, ella se le pega cualquier enfermedad, cualquier virus, y you no know, lo que nosotros, nuestros niños o, o nosotros regular, que you know, tenemos una gripa por dos, tres días, a ella le pasa por tres semanas. Entonces, ella lo tumba mucho más. Y aparte de eso, um, por, le causa su presión de sangre uh, súper alta, so she has really high blood pressure, y igual. Se, se puede cansar. Entonces, de ahí le salió epilepsia, que en veces le dan ataques, um, seizures, um, pero ella los ha estado, por decir, controlando. Entonces, ella sabe cuándo le van a dar y luego, luego te dice, te va y te agarra, es like, hey, 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 y como que se le va la onda tantito. En, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿quién va a subir a su niña a un caballo <laughs> con eso? O sea, ya mejor ya no le moví, porque pues, realistically, o sea, como no, no sabes. Pero al mismo tiempo, o sea, salió la oportunidad que otro equipo la invitó, que okay, oh, vamos para que se haya suplente y montara el nacionalito el año pasado. Y yo misma dije, ¿sabes qué? No, no creo que es buena idea porque ya no se puede comprometer al 100. O sea, de repente, no, es de repente no se va a sentir bien. You know? eh, cuando no la dejabas, ella nunca te pedía, like, if she wanted to do it, o sea, porque tu papá, pues, es, es alguien conocido aquí que monta caballos, que lo veía seguido. Did she ever ask you, like, I want to do it? Or, or was she it didn't want to compete. Mm -hmm. I always say she's my little concha. She loves dressing up, pero, you know, she loved the outfit. O sea, le encantaba todo y andar en, en las charreadas, Pico Rivera. She would call it Picolandia before it was Picolandia. <laughs> that was her Disneyland weekend. You yeah. know, le encantaba. Pero así de competir, no, porque dice que yo gritaba mucho. So, nunca quería competir. Entonces ya, you know, ni le movimos, pero sí montaba. Y también es un poquito de pelear con papá, porque, you know, es, es la, la baby. Entonces ya la cosa es, ajá, es, ya es diferente de que cuando nos decíamos, no, pues súbete y ya you know, y, y sí pasó una vez que ya estaba guardando su caballo y le dio uno de sus, um, como seizures, es absent seizure, que se llama, donde se le va la onda, y nomás soltó el caballo y se fue a su cuarto, pero lo soltó. Entonces me parecía, ¿qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? Mike, no, la de verdad uno, porque o sea, nomás lo soltó y se fue. Entonces ya ahí ya le dio miedo y es peligroso. Pero ya tiene ¿qué? seis años desde que se enfermó y cada día más ella lo está controlando. Entonces, cuando salió esta oportunidad que dijeron, la invitaron para ser suplente, que no, no, yo misma dije, no es buena idea porque ya no se puede comprometer. Y este equipo tomaron eso en consideración y dijeron, ¿sabes qué? No le haces, déjala para que participe ella. Porque era la única niña, o sea, ya, ya hay varios equipos ahorita y es la que y nos está montando y pues, you know, hija de sanidores, nieta de Jorge Torres, like, <risa> ¿cómo no va a montar? Toda su familia, ya, su papá, todos, like, ¿cómo no va a montar? Y le dije, like, ¿quieres hacerlo para ser suplente? She's like, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Y se emocionó, y I'm like, yo quería que dijera, ah, no, porque, like, o, o dijo okay, que la voy a llevar a practicar y no le va a gustar, porque a ella le gusta hacer su propia cosa, no le gusta que le estén diciendo, a ella le gusta escoger sus vestidos, escoger todo, like, yo iba y me ponía lo que me dijeran, en, no, no me interesaba eso para nada, y ella no, ella quiere esto y esto y esto y así, que no le va a gustar, you know, she has to share the spotlight with seven other girls, no le va a gustar, y no, le encantó. 
Y dijeron, no le haces, si se enferma, no le haces, son niñas, están participando nomás para participar ahorita, son niñas. Que you know, su entrenadora le, en casa dijo, yo me meto por ella si algo le pasa o que, que las descalifiquen, no, no, ellas no les interesan los puntos. Y me volvió a recordar, like, ah, this is what it's about. O sea, ya casi se me había olvidado esa parte. And it's like, si ellos, no les inter ellos que no conocen a mi niña, no les interesa la puntuación, yo que me estoy preocupando de que no, porque va a quedar mal. Y eso se me no le hace que es mal, que no se vaya a lastimar. Y, que, da, da, da. y también no querían porque no, pues no se vaya a lastimar. Pero, ¿cómo le voy a decir yo que no puede hacer algo? Si de veras sí lo quiso hacer. Si handicap her, she's going to handicap yes. herself. Yeah. So, y al principio sí se estresaba porque se sentía nerviosa, porque ella no sabía de rutina, si ella montaba porque le gustaba. So, ese es un cambio diferente. Montar nomás, por decir, for fun y... y seguir la dirección y memorizarte eso y el equipo la metieron hicieron la rutina para nueve entonces ella se puso de sombrilla con la con la otra niña y le encantó y ahora este año dijeron no pues que se quede Isabela en el equipo ya luego buscamos una suplente para para y ella se quedará en el lugar final y todavía batallaba pero Dice que sí, y ella se ha sentido bien. O sea, ella sabe cuándo se siente mal y cuándo no. Tuvo una práctica que era a pie porque se estaban memorizando la rutina y se sentía mal. Yo sé que se sentía mal porque le había dado un stomach virus. Y de todas maneras dijo, no, sí voy a practicar. Hizo la rutina, se acordó la rutina a pie. Qué bueno que era a pie ese día, pero ella no quería que supieran que estaba mala. Entonces, se acordó la rutina después de eso se puso súper mala y se pasó todo el fin de semana en el hospital y al martes regresó a la práctica. Like, no quería que ni supiera. Entonces, ella se controló. O sea, ¿qué más? It's a lot of courage. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's more than I had worried about the points. O sea, eso te dice más de que alguien que, que oh, quiero, no quiero perder mis puntos. Con eso dijo ella más, que tiene más de corazón para esto que, que Who did alguien you expect, más. Though? Your kid has the both sides. I like know. it's impossible for her to not come out wanting to do it. But I gave her, you know, I gave her the option. Don't don't go to practice. You don't feel good because I want to baby her like that. And she said, no, I'm going. And she did it and she was fine. But that's being competitiveness. Yeah. That's being that, competitive. That's, that's a know? different Even level. Even if it's with herself. It's, yeah. If it's, it's being challenging herself and having that discipline yeah. to say, no, yo quiero ir porque I want to prove to myself. I, w I have a commitment to her team. I'm pretty sure that was part of the decision of, no, yo voy a ir porque mis compañeras yeah. me están esperando y no les voy a decir nada. You know? They didn't know. Some of the girls still, still don't, you know. And she's only how old? She's 13 now. Yeah. So ya lo sabe controlar and like I said, she, she knows her limits. Cuando fuimos a Nacionalito is more stressful than me writing or you know yo practicando I was like oh, no van a practicar yo toda estresada porque no les los callos que les prestaron que nomás los pudieron usar una vez montaron una práctica con 30 minutos so I'm hyperventilating like oh my god no se van a saber and they're like tú siendo la mamá competitiva yes, que eres yes y, y toda estresada y todos no pudieron practicar las llevamos a pasear se disfrutaron al 100, como yo nunca he disfrutado un congreso, porque yo siempre los cuatro días entrenando, 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 nunca conocí los lugares, no te puedo decir a dónde fui en cada lugar. Y estas niñas se pasearon al 100. Yo súper preocupada por el caballo, llegaron con 30 minutos de práctica, I'm like, ok, nadie choque, nadie, nadie se pierda. Oh, salieron su compromiso, hicieron súper bien, se agarraron de la banda después, o sea, they loved it. I'm like, ok, that's That's her way. Cada quien hace su camino. Y no le voy a decir que no hasta que ya no, you know, no quiera. And it's, she's making her way. And I had to step back and be like, okay. Todo está bien. Su... O sea, te estresaste para nada. Pero, o sea, ¿qué, pero <laughs> ¿qué sentiste al verla en su primer nacionalito? Vestida. I mean, did it bring back any memories? Oh, sabiendo, it did. Sabiendo lo que ella batalló. El esfuerzo Por estar ha hecho. ahí. O sea, ¿qué sentiste tú como mamá? Como escaramuza. Como, ¿qué sentiste? Oh, it's just... Es increíble. O sea, es algo que no, no se puede describir porque tantos obstáculos y, y mi, mis ideas de cómo deben ser las cosas y la verdad, cómo salieron las cosas. Y, y de una manera u otra, ahí estaba. Y yo no pensaba que iba a estar ahí. O sea, mirarla hacer eso cuando ya había yo dicho, no, esto no lo puede hacer. It's like incredible. Y ahora ya le gustó. She's, ahí está cada, cada práctica y, y siguiéndole de otra manera. But... Yeah, now she's one of the eight girls. Ajá, uh -huh. she's, yeah, she got her saddle and... 
lo hizo oficial. Es lo que quería go. para Navidad. Yeah. So, Ahora y, sí, y, agárrate. You know. uh -huh. Ahora vienen Ahora los olvidado. gastos. Que, I know, ya se me ha olvidado que carito era, es el deporte. <risa> Sí, sí, sí. Creo que ahora es más caro que, que antes. Oh, yeah. Bueno, y oh, my God, como ustedes course. que montaban antes, competían antes, y ahora que ven con tu sobrina que monta en your daughter, ¿han visto diferencias a como era antes que uh, ahora en día? Like, do you guys see a difference en, en lo competitivo, en, en todos los aspectos? O sea, ¿Ven alguna diferencia? Sí, mu muchísimo que ha crecido el deporte y... y I mean, there's, there's good and bad, because como estábamos hablando como de social media y todo eso, yo luego, luego al principio, like, oh my God, estas niñas nomás para ponerlo en Instagram, pero en stories, no pueden practicar sin estar poniéndolo, like, es diferente, pero no nomás es eso, es una diferente generación. O sea, estas niñas están haciendo los caballos, la calidad de caballos que les están dando las escaramuzas con eso. Hay que empezar es ahí, sí. O sea, antes pero, aga hay que agarrabas, empezar ahí. agarrabas el caballo que no estaba usado en ese momento. O sea, habíamos... Pero yo creo que por eso fuimos muy buenas para montar. Sí, eso te iba a decir porque, pues sí eran, me imagino que, que era, pues este caballo no nos sirvió para colas, te toca a ti, you know, you get the leftovers of... Y ahora of las, las muchachas que están montando, todos los caballos están tan bonitos y tan de buena rienda. Y antes, pues decían, oh, vas a echar el, el caballo a perder. Lo vas a echar a perder. Ese yeah. es... Yeah. No, Pero cuando yeah. lo agarrábamos, luego, luego los vendían. Yeah. Like, sí. no, ah, <risa> qué bueno salió el caballo, déjalo vendo. Ya, yes. <risa> yeah. yeah. era, era cosa que no, no, no te dabas tu lugar en tu caballo. O sea, I did. Hasta I el último. I mean, at yeah. Yeah. I had my way. Yeah. I had my way yeah. at the end. <risa> Al último, cuando, te digo, cuando, después de que empezamos a ganar y, y seguíamos, les dimos a entender mi misma mesa a nuestra familia que esos ocho caballos son parte del equipo y con esos no se juegan. Y antes de eso, no era, era pues lo que te tocaba. Entonces, eh, recono reconocer lo que se necesita para, para el equipo, no nomás es las muchachas, es los, los caballos. Y ahora, o sea, rara, rara la vez que veo que te sencillen un caballo de piales y colas y luego, luego se lo echan a las caramuzas. O sea, ya eso ya no se miraba. Y antes teníamos todas las seis, salva seis salvaras ahí en, la, en el lienzo a que te dieran uno y este da punta, pues ahorita vamos a ver si le da. Ahora yo creo que ya ni puedo Jala la vez jalarlo. Se punta. Sí. Ahora ya creo que no, ni voy a saber dar punta en los caballos y los terrenos que como están ahorita. Porque ya, o sea, es el calibre de, de caballos y de trabajo es, es increíble. Y da mucho gusto que sea así. It's about Pero, time. Yeah, It's about porque time. es muchísimo trabajo y esfuerzo que hacen las muchachas y creo más que los charros, sorry, but... O sea, si tú tienes mal día, ni modo, pero la disciplina tienes que... Porque no me imagino opción. a un charro, bueno, a lo mejor ahora ya si sí es una camisola, you know, pink o fosforolescente, pero antes no eran como que ese botón o esa, you know, a los charros no les hacían eso. Y yo, yo me acuerdo en un estatal o algo a las escaramuzas era, well, that's not the right like color. Like you come and they, like you see the, the judges and you see them touching your spur. And then they move your little shirt yeah. to make sure everything is exactly the same. And if one thing is wrong... And just by them touching your yeah, spur, not you touching, know, but looking, te, si te pone poquito nerviosa, como que, what's, right, right. Okay, well, what's wrong? Okay, okay. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, yeah. So one time I remember we had, um, I rode with the, this is already, was this La Noria? This might, no, this was Tos Pola de Oro. Uh, we did not have some matching stuff. Like some of the spurs were Greca and the other one was a Floreado one or whatever. Or that little campari, that yeah. little, yeah. So we had one of the girls that rode in Andaluz and her name was Violet. Um, a lot of people about no Baile Luna. Well, he would, you know, she, everybody was always like scared of the horse. Like they thought, oh my God, like he's so bad or whatever. So we put all the things that were mismatching on her. And then she was just making her horse dance the whole time. So that when the judge came up to her, she's like, I ah, forget it. She's fine. <laughs> <laughs> she's fine. She had like mismatching chavetones. She had, a, this fur was different than ours. Yeah, that's so the competitiveness. Had, uh, yeah. It's colmillo, yeah. you know what I mean? But I, don't, I shouldn't have said that because now you guys are all going to try to do it. <laughs> they don't have to anymore. <laughs> they don't have to match anymore? No, they do, she's, but it's she's not saying as... the horses are so good now. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. But so yeah, you do have to match now. If you're watching this, but like, it's what, two you points? <laughs> yeah, it's two points. Two points. Mm -hmm. I had one time that they touched the material. It was a, Tocaron el vestido y que no era del mismo material, que tenía un poquito más. Uh, o el brillo del bordado or, or something little things like that. Algo ridículo así. O sea, ¿qué tiene que ver con el trabajo que estoy haciendo en el lienzo? 
So, in ese momento, actually, it was uh, Dora Bonilla. She was my escaramuza calmother también. Digo, oh, me van a descalificar porque se trae el diferente poquito vestido. Yo no hallaba ni cómo decirle a las muchachas. O sea, llegaron a una estatal y que las van a descalificar por esto. She's like, no, Dora Bonilla no, used to write in the Pico Rivera, Escaramuza de Pico yes. Rivera to the floor. And she goes, no, it's like, let's, ahorita nos cambiamos vestidos. And I was like, really? She goes, yes, vámonos. Y le juntó las de ella y vamos a las trailas. Y a cambiarse vestidos ahorita para agarrar su calificación, para entrar, participar. O sea, que es cosas que... El estrés de tener bueno, que hacer eso yeah. antes de ir a competir y tener que mentalmente prepararte porque ah, ya anduviste las carreras y ahora, ok. Y, y qué bueno que eso ha elevado tantito, porque también años después, eso fue con mi equipo de Amazonas de antes. Y años después me pasó lo mismo con las salidas en un congreso con el, el estilo de cuello de una camisa. O sea, era el mismo estilo que tengo dos años compitiendo. Cuatro de las cinco jueces que estaban ahí me habían calificado con esa misma camisa y me dicen, ah, no, que ahora ya estamos en nacional. Después de haber presentado, es un, anuncian un cero a todo el mundo. I'm like, ¿por qué? Ah, porque el cuello es, es diferente. I'm like, oh, no, 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 esto no va a pasar. En un nacional. Dice, en un nacional entonces y ya, ya se digo, habían presentado con esa misma camisola en un estatal. No el mismo color, pero la, el mismo estilo. O sea, el corte era igual de todas. O sea, uh, Maribel la misma costurera. Haciendo, y ya, mi abuelita <risa> y Maribel, entonces. <risa> no son de nada. Las, los teníamos en casa, entonces. Esa no era la cuestión. Le dije, no, es que no, nosotros te miramos con otra. Y mandé a alguien que me la fuera a agarrar del hotel porque la traíamos dije a ver por fue si esta. las dudas ajá dije cuál es la diferencia explíquenme por favor la diferencia en estas dos eran igual Entonces, es que no no quería digo por qué no me dijeron antes de presentarme dijo oh, es que para que no no te estresaras al entrar o sea como estamos diciendo entrar es una presión le dije con todo respeto ese no es su problema si yo quiero ir a comprarme ocho camisolas aquí en los puestos ese es mi problema pero no darme un cero por Eso algo así. Des, se presentaron y después, y después te dijeron, oh, me wow. dijeron cero. Y no me habían dicho, lo anunciaron en la cámara primero. Entonces la gente que estaba en, mirando aquí, la casa, like, ¿qué pasó? Like, ni yo sabía todavía qué había pasado. Entonces eso también fue algo grande que luego cambiaron y o sea, te quitan puntos o, o, o X, pero uh, es cosas que nosotros mismos nos estamos deteniendo. O sea, que, que no hay necesidad de esas cosas, menos a nivel nacional después de todo el año. Uh -huh. estar y con sí, lo poco mismo. a poco ya han mejorado pues, el reglamento. Uh -huh. en, como sí, me, me dieron los puntos para atrás esa uh -huh. vez. De todas maneras, no iba a ser la diferencia entre entrar al final o no, pero era el punto de, de la situación. O sea, no, hay que ser constantes y parejos con todos todo el año. Constancia en, en el reglamento y, y, y no que llegues cómo a un nacional. Y, y, Ajá, y es algo que también he mirado, también he adaptado un poquito más, que hay más you know, constante las reglas y todo eso, que todavía hay, creo que hay mucho lugar para, que no sea tanto de entre, interpretación, pero, pero it's progressing, va, va para la dirección, creo bien. Y sí, y parte de eso también es... Uh, de que se ha difundido la charrería es parte de, de las redes sociales, uh -huh. que en eso creo que también tú tienes más experiencia with social media, like uh, I see your TikToks and videos like you do, you know, if anyone who really doesn't know you or doesn't, like you show it on there like I know how to write, I'm not just doing it for show, I actually am yeah. a good writer and yeah. I just don't post yeah. my horse and then say I yeah. rode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I mean, most of the TikToks I do or like any Instagram stuff, I always like, I'll be doing funny skits or whatever, but then I have to like remind them like, <laughs> I didn't, I know what's up, okay? <laughs> I, can, I can handle some shit. <laughs> like I was it yesterday, the day before yesterday when you posted the, uh, the video of the bustle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that was for... That was, the, I did that one on those cowboys. Because, I mean, we used to always do it. Because I also did the Escaramusa. I was the first Escaramusa de Indias here. Oh, that's right. Um, so we did the Paso in, in the Escaramusa de Indias. But we used to always practice, like, messing around during practice. You know, when, like, oh, practice is over. Or, like, you used to just, just do fun I things know. after or whatever. So we would always do Paso de la Muerte. And, I mean, I mean, I have to say that we... we We, we were pretty good riders because I feel like, honestly, it really did make a difference the fact that we had to use random ass horses from wherever. <laughs> yeah, I, do think that, I think that did because make you if, a stronger rider because you have to 
Right. Make, make that horse cross. Because even way. if you think about it, like, yeah, I had I had horses sometime. I, we had horses that then would get hurt. You couldn't ride us. You had to ride a different horse. Or one of the other girls couldn't handle a random horse. So you would have to give her your horse. And then you get a random horse. Like, it was always, you know, just trading around. And yeah. So, I mean, I think that made made it. So, yeah, I know how to do paso. <laughs> I don't know if I should do it right now, but I need to stretch. <laughs> Back to that point of, yeah. yeah, that you have to make the horses work. That's something else that I, I give credit to Don Vic. Si la costumbre mentalidad era, sabes que esta no puede aquí o este caballo no sirve, vamos a poner la rutina a donde. Acomodar la rutina al caballo. Acomodar la rutina al caballo, ya. Yeah. Y le dije, ¿sabe qué, Domic? Fulana, esta no, no, hay que ponerla en este lugar, ¿verdad? Y goes, ok, a ver, vengan para acá. Y goes, ¿quién tiene caballo aquí? Y pues todas. ¿Cuántas patas tiene tu caballo? Cuatro. ¿Y tú? Cuatro, cuatro. Ok, todos aquí tienen cuatro patas y traen rienda. Si no traen rienda, para afuera. Pero si, si hay caballos con cuatro patas y rienda, lo vas a hacer trabajar esta rutina. Entonces, no, estaba, no te iba a sacar y acomodar, dejarte tu lugar. O sea, te va a enseñar cómo y lo vas a hacer porque lo vas a hacer porque hay manera de hacerlo. Si tienes caballo con cuatro patas y rienda, lo vas a hacer así. Y sí, o sea, ahí también fue un cambio de cómo trabajabas. De mentalidad que tuvieron de mentalidad. que hacer. Ajá, sabes, te voy a enseñar cómo hacerlo y lo vas a hacer. Y si ya no lo haces, es porque... Tú no lo estás haciendo, no es por, por causa del caballo, en vez de, este caballo no sirve, y otro, y otro, y otro. Ok, ¿cuántas veces vas a cambiar caballo? Y saber que no es el caballo. O sea, eres, eres tú. Te pones las pilas o para afuera con el caballo. Deja el caballo, como dice, como la concha le tocó, agarrar otro caballo, y yo lo hice trabajar. Entonces, te voy a dar las herramientas y lo vas a hacer. Mm -hmm. that's it. Wait, didn't you have, didn't something happen where your horse bit? Were you All the, one who the had time. <laughs> Did you have a... I, I had know, I remember so, that. Zapata. <laughs> que, da, oh, que, sorry. Que paz descanse. <laughs> yes, he was my baby. He was good at the end, though. He stopped being bad. But yeah, <laughs> cuando era garañón, he was... Even after a little bit. But man... Oh, and then that... Mi, 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 mi papá me compró un caballo. So, esa es otra cosa. When you grow up around horses and like... You had mentioned that your dad was like, no, I don't want you to do it. For me, it was kind of not a choice. It was like, yeah, yeah and that's, yeah. So like when I grew up doing it, it was kind of like I wanted to be cheerleading and and then um, I wanted to track and my mom was like, well, you can't do both. So you got to decide between Escaramusa or that because it's just, it's going to take up all your time. So it was like other kids were getting taken to like, soccer practice or ballet or baseball and I was like Scaramusa practice and you know so like when my dad bought me my first horse like I, we had horses but they were like family horses so when he bought me my first horse every time I would do something that he didn't like it was always like I'm gonna sell your horse I'm gonna take him away so it was like I right away was like oh my god I, I, I'm not I don't and I know my horse was like a shit show every time we would go because it was like everybody would be praying over here right before we were going in <laughs> and over, over, there. <laughs> over there because he's he would like can't look another horse in the eye because then he was going to rear up and you were going to go down and or like you know and I even remember um people would come up to me like <laughs> ya capa ese caballo que he's like coming out of his skin she was going to her maquilas I was like, no I wasn't I, was, I had my own reason okay you know their bodies change when you look on los capas too early they like don't have the cheeks and stuff so I was holding oh out for girl. as long as I possibly could take his manhood <laughs> <laughs> they just have shinier look when they're when they're enteros <laughs> leave me alone but he bit like ain't nobody yeah, he, bit Vanessa, he bit Vanessa Garcia's butt in an abanico once <laughs> But then this was really bad when I was riding with La Noria. And I told everybody knew, don't come near my horse and don't come straight at him in his face. He doesn't like that. He just, <laughs> and and then um, one of the girls. Mind you, there's cruces. <laughs> yeah, no. You have to go straight but, ahead. No, yeah. yeah, no, that's all cool. Cause I, but if, if I was. He's busy. So he, he was yeah, busy. He didn't yeah, he's busy. He doesn't have time for that stuff. But when one time we were like just standing around talking and I, and I was like kind of staying away from the girls. And one of the girls, Vicky was like, He's not going to do anything. He's fine. Man, this guy took his bid out of his mouth, put it to the side, and <laughs> went and attacked her like a dog. I'm not even kidding you. It wasn't like a, it was like a, like got her skin and went like, and I had a manguera. And I mean, I'm not going to say what I did, but I did what I had to do. I got him off of her. He went back. 
I couldn't get him off of her. I was pulling and pulling and doing whatever I had to do and he would not get off of her. She ended up having to go to the hospital. She named that bruise Vivian. She still has it <laughs> decades later. And everybody still talks about how bad my horse was. <laughs> but he's a good boy now. I mean, not now he passed away, but he was a good boy now at the end. Now yeah, he was a good boy at the end. Like, yeah, now later. He is. He was too tall. Tall. Now he's a good boy. He was a good boy at the end, but a little too late, but yeah. <laughs> I have to go he bit me. Quick. He bit me. me he too. kicked me. Time out. Time. You have to go. Well, you go first. Yeah. I'm uh, bathroom. Okay. We'll we'll be right back. So I have a question for you guys. Since you both, <laughs> are you gonna say are we back? Are you and we're, we're back. back. <laughs> and we're back. While we were doing a potty break and I was in the bathroom, <laughs> I had a thought. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Really, what happened? Though? No, I was wondering porque hay equipos que que la meta de de los equipos de escaramuza es, you know, you're both competitive riders. Y la meta de, de muchas, para las que van a ver, la de muchas niñas o de las personas que montaron en el tiempo que ustedes montaron, eh, la, la meta era calificar a un nacional. O sea, ahora sí, este, el, el estado de California es uno de los um, estados más competitivos, igual que otros estados, pero es uno de que tiene, tiene muchos equipos de escaramuza y creo que ustedes lo han visto porque tu sobrina monta Your Daughter Rides, Ahora, ahora se tiene que hacer casi en un fin de semana solamente escaramuzas. Because before it was like you rode in between charreadas, right? Because it, it was, there wasn't that many teams. Nowadays, there's a lot of teams. So we have our own like estatal, right? Feria type yeah, it's feria de escaramuzas. I never liked that. I, I just don't like the feria thing. <laughs> I like that we all have our individual spots. And in either it's before, the, uh, like after manganas yeah. or after colas. I like it. I yeah. think it's so much better. And you know what? I, you I, a second. I don't like that they divided the state. That the Me north co- rides in the north, the south rides in the south. Because we are friends because we rode in the same torneos. Yeah, no, una vez al año, so, dos veces sí. al año. Like, like, tenemos it, Judy stayed at, yeah. at my house every, every time. Let's not talk about that. No. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> por eso es que tenemos estos recuerdos porque yeah. montábamos en un estado and what did we do? We went to your house. Yeah. We went in the jacuzzi. Yeah, so we were, it was my team Arquetzali hanging out with La Noria and que, you know, it built, se hizo esa hermandad de, de equipos porque montábamos en el, en el mismo... Pues todo el estado montaba en, en uno. Yo sé que es difícil ahorita pa, para los que los organizan porque son el, el, la charrería ha crecido tanto en California que sí es difícil para los organizadores este, um, to host, de hacer un, un torneo y Con incluir todos. todos los equipos sin tener que irse en Wednesday, Thursday, de miércoles. O sea, la, si hacen eso, tiene que ser como en dos fines de semana o casi toda una semana para poder meter a todos los equipos de California. Pero sí siento que se perdió como, como esa uh, convivio que se hacía antes, que era, era, sí, o sea, nos conocíamos, pero it was still healthy. Like, yo me acuerdo. It was good competition. O sea, compitiendo con las mismas cada fin de semana. Hay una feria, hay un hay una circuito, whatever, y vas a un estatal y es lo mismo. O sea, qué, qué lujo tiene el estatal, qué brillo tiene y antes era o sea es, a eso trabajabas para ir y, y era un convivio diferente y todas todas parejas o sea las mismas uh-huh. y, y hace el mismo ra- environment ya yeah. y hace rato que estábamos platicando de, de mi hija y de tu hija que que se estaban como que entre ellas animándose uh-huh. pero es porque nosotros nos juntamos y yeah. y no ya, ahorita ya no se ve tanto eso de diferentes del norte del sur del centro porque cada quien tiene su You know, everyone's kind of divided. So yo veo que, que ahorita la, como la, el equipo que entrenó de B, ellas no casi no, o sea, se conocen por las por redes sociales. Mismas. Ajá, por las yeah. redes sociales se conocen por ahí, pero no porque de veras compiten. A lo mejor las escaramuzas sí, porque en el, it's the second estatal that, que todas montan juntas. But I just think, you know, I, or it I would have been nicer if it was It'd all nice the if same. We were all, yeah. Y, y yo, yo sí creo, en, porque a veces sí, si yo tengo mi estatal en el norte y ustedes acá en el sur, un, podemos decir, es que ellas tuvieron mejor terreno porque, uh-huh. you know what I mean? Like, so es, lo que, es que esta juez acá yeah. y esta juez acá. So, like, no, everybody y como parejas. soy competitiva, sí le he dicho, uh, I'd say like, why can't we all ride? Ok, si vamos a hacer nomás escaramuzas, fine, whatever, pero no nos dividan. Pónganos a todas en el mismo terreno, con la misma juez, con la mis, you know, misma temperatura. Misma, misma temperatura, todas yeah. sufriendo igual. Uh-huh. Y todas... 
Cuando no. ustedes venían para el sur, se, sen, se sentían... Did you like it better when we were over there, no, when we would go up north? Like, when the competition was there, did you guys like it better that it was there? Or did you like it better down here in the south because it's a little cooler? Because it was hot as hell yeah, up there. Yeah, I, I know people <laughs> would complain about riding up north because it was so hot. But, yeah, we, I mean, we like coming. To me, it, it would build um, team... Well, team bonding. Nos teníamos que venir, um, quedarnos todas en un hotel, a veces las ocho en un cuarto yeah. o, yeah. o cuatro We y cuatro. used to sometimes get an RV because it was hard to get hotels there. Cuando eran los nacionales o torneos en Cuyama, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah I remember Motel that. Eight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But yeah, I liked riding over here. Like I always said, the truth in Pico, it was, tienen las mejores instalaciones por los baños, que no eran poor parties para ir al baño a cambiarte. Or, or what whatever. could I say? What could I say? <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I, I, yo, yo crecí, you know, enseñando mi propio caballo y llegando... And we, you know, we would. My sister would drive the truck and trailer because I don't want to drive a truck and trailer. But my sister would take the truck, and, the truck and trailer with the horses, and we would saddle up our horses ourselves. But then when we rode with La Noria, it was like a whole other. Like I understand the comfort levels of the girls from Mexico. <laughs> you don't have to deal with saddling your horse, and like when you just get off and you give your horse your caballero and go like. La, thank you, L Lopez family, for letting I'm, me experience I'm, that lovely time yeah, in my life. Honestly, I'm just like, fucking lucky bitches. Yes. No, seriously. It's like, uno acá yes. desistiando, and we're trying to like... And then... <laughs> we, <laughs> sweating. Vico would have all of our horses just set up on right there, all saddled for us, and we would we had a little room with air conditioning while everybody was outside. And, and then Concha comes with her makeup, all yeah, full so glam, yes, glamour that, shots. Shot. It was. We had a little air conditioned room right there, and we would all just wait and just wait for the. It was time for us to go in, and we would just get on our horses and and go. It was nice. So yes, that I was. I had my two little sisters. Okay, which I put them in. My dad's like, si tú las vas a meter, tú las vas a lidiar. So I'm like, here I go. We had this discussion the other day with Christy. I'm like, help Izzy. I used to help you. She's like, I did my own stuff. I'm like, you were eight. You were not doing your own stuff. Like, you had me as your caballerango. Like, calm down. But it's like, So oh, do man. you saddle? Like, do you have no, Izzy I mean, well, saddle? Or, I mean, I'll help her throw the saddle up. I'm really surprised it. on one She's thing, really on good. how much the kids don't know how to saddle their own horses nowadays. <laughs> like, I swear, I have seen, so I'm like, you really don't know how to put that on? I hope you're, I hope you two teach your kid. No, yeah, they, they, yeah, they know. Okay, no. good. Like, you even got to go. My dad will spoil her. I'm like, you did not do that with them. <laughs> but it's hard to get that <laughs> saddle up yes, there sometimes, yeah, is, so I understand that. Sometimes my, my daughter will come con el bajante, like, al revés, like, oh my God, girl. But it's fine, but they're doing it. Isabela se sube y se baja. That was one of the, my pet peeves, like, if you can't, si no te puedes subir, like, don't go ask somebody's husband to go get you on the horse. Like, you can't do, you can't get on your horse and don't go on it. <laughs> so, ella ya se enseñó a subirse sola. Like, oh, I, uh, that was one of my, uh, no me puedo subir, me ayudas a subirme. Like, no, girl, ve arriba tu caballo la traila y súbete. Y si no te puedes subir, no estás, ¿qué negocio tienes en la escaramuza? But I, like, I do, no. to be fair, when you're in, in the, in a escaramuza dress and you have all your crinolinas and stuff and you want to sit on it, you need help. Because then you, you ask your teammate to tuck in. There's a difference between not, not knowing asking a random person. And oh, no. not, not. Oh, yeah. No, no. Yeah. But I, like, yeah, say, yeah. I, 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 ask, I always ask a random person. Yeah. Can you just, just push, push my up. horse up here. Give and me then a boost. I have to hold it. Because, I, yeah. You need to even you out your, your weight. But, but if you didn't have somebody, you could do it. That's the difference. I can always know how. If someone wants to offer, we're just kissing around my dress. No, it's like, it's like, if you fall in the lienzo, you got to know how to get on the horse yourself. Yes. Right? If you happen to, I mean, gracias a Dios, nunca pasó, pero si te caías, pues. You have to get on, yeah. Can you can you use the the, the cajones? Can you do what you gotta do? Okay, so it's like because nobody could go in there and help you. No, no, no. You oh. they they do. They not now. Before it was like you, I don't you get remember, outside but help. It's like an extra. It, yeah, if they're not driving. Oh, well, you can use the cajones. You're not gonna get in trouble yeah. for that. Okay. No, now someone will help you. As long you as I can jump on, on the cajones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we used to tell the dads like. No si se metan. No se metan, aunque miren. Por si las dudas, no se metan. Hasta que le diga yo. Did you bleed? I will tell you if there's broken bones. If there's no broken bones, no blood, get back on and you leave us alone. We'll We're deal good. with it when we get outside. 
Uh, have you guys ever fallen oh during my the competition? God, I have fallen so many times. But during the competition? <laughs> yes, in the Congreso in Guadalajara. In Nacional? Well, yes, my horse. Because I'm telling you that they, over there, I don't know if they do it here too. I don't think so. But do they put the cement underneath when you're sliding? Now they do. Now, now it's now prohibido. Okay. Now, okay. It's not allowed but anymore. But back then here, they didn't have it yeah. like that. No, no. But in the congresos, they have it like that all the time, ever since I can remember. And I remember one congreso, everybody and their grandparents was falling. Everybody. I feel like it's like that all the time now, though, with that <laughs> damn thing in the middle of the lienzo. And my horse, yeah, because obviously back then, their slides are not the same. <laughs> it's like, how hard could you pull? How big is the mouth? <laughs> So, yeah. It makes the picture exciting. <laughs> I know, right? I have some really cool ones I don't post because the horse is like. <laughs> <laughs> my mom has a picture of me. I think it was my first time. I, I didn't even know the horse slid. They're like, well, just go. You have no option. Yeah. <laughs> Y en México, en my parents had a restaurant, y ahí en el restaurante tenía una foto, el caballo así con la boca, and I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, so, that, mama, like, fue tu primer punta. And I was like, no, ma. You should have been like, can we Photoshop that? Yeah, can we Photoshop that? I can that? Photoshop it for you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give it to Concha. The horse comes yeah. out with dentures. Yeah. 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 Veneers. The teeth are really white. Veneers. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, and then like, I, when I pulled the, 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 the rienda, like obviously the horse flew back with me be- and then i guess like i don't know i when i try to break my fall i broke my finger like when i went down so i mean i rode like that regardless but yeah. i mean i had to do what i had to do yeah. it happened to me at uh have you sent this initial that, that torneo that's the same oh, one the is it that same one yeah. yes but the it, internacional uh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, i think that's what it was because first it was the national level internacional in 2007 right yeah no no it was no, yeah, yeah it, it was, was the other way because one was 2009 no. and one was 2010. No, because no, no because I know that the way that they it got it was 2007. Yeah, the 2005. The 2005 they asked for the national, and the 2007 they did the international. Yeah, the yeah. el, el 2007 was that tournament because we oh, that okay. was actually we must have been. Oh yes, I think yes, it was. Yes. Nosot- la Noria y nosotras que participamos en el evento allá en México que no era el Congreso. Oh, I because w- we went to that one yeah. too. The the, the international. Yes, yes. Yeah. that was. Yeah, it was us three. That was another thing was in the Escaramuza de Reinas. I would have to ride in the two times in when I would ride with the Escaramuza de Reinas and then with La Noria in the middle somewhere. So oh, it was like, I couldn't leave ever. Sorry, not that I'm talking so, about that again. Yeah, but. That, that one, that's when I felt. That was the first time que me había caído en, en Escaramuza, pero no fue en la presentación, thank God. Pero también vamos a lo mismo, los niveles de caballos que te prestaban. Dude, vienen acá. That's another thing I see. Cuando vienen los charros o quien sea de México, aquí los... You know, silver platter. Los, yeah. caball- los mejores. Te doy mi mejor los, caballo. Te lo presto. Mm-hmm. Es el convivio. Y no te cobro. <laughs> y, y llegas allá y te rento este por este. And like, y a mí me tocó el que, el que quedaba. Like, okay, well, era cuando para ese evento se cambiaba el de puntas y el de la presentación. So para punta tenía uno de Don Vicente. I was like, oh, feeling top notch over here. Todo. Pero para la rutina. <laughs> el que quedó, pobrecito, he was so good, pero pobrecito ya, ya lleva para afuera. Yo creo que fue una de las últimas presentaciones. Y justamente en un giro alrededor del cuadro, en el centro, que el giro de 360, fum, se le fueron las patas, se me volteó, se me quedó el pie atorado en la montura. Y ya tenía todo estramado. No se metan por cualquier razón. Me quedé, me quedé. Pero fue, fue en, el, uh, en la práctica del día antes, o el reconocimiento. O so, Tinka no estaba yendo al lienzo, pero I'm like, me quedé colgada en el... Literally hanging upside down con el pie amarrado en la albarda. And I was upside down mirando el nuevo lienzo de Don Vicente. And I'm like, <laughs> Qué bonito this, está. Is where, this is what we're doing. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, oh, dude, no, nunca me había caído en la práctica nada. Like, desde que tenía nueve años y ahí fui a estrenar. Y nadie se podía arrimar porque, like, donde, donde empieza a correr el caballo ya estuvo. Se la va a arrastrar. I was literally al revés abajo del caballo. I'm like, don't move. Y poco a poquito me moví el pie hasta que me quité la bota y ya, quedé en el piso. I'm like, oh, this so it's is crazy awesome. because like your adrenaline nice is running so high that you don't, like, don't feel it me. at that time. Yeah. Like I just look at it. I was doing a TikTok the other day, not the other day, like two, like a year ago. It was during COVID 2020. So I, I was doing a TikTok and um, I was, my horse tripped. And he fell. When he fell, I was on top of him still, but I blocked my fall like this, and this arm went this way, and it dislocated. So I had, uh, I had to get it popped back in. 
And so I remember, I mean, like, you just, you don't feel like, it at I'm the fine. time. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. yeah, I got you don't feel up. it at the time. I mean, I was screaming and crying at the time when I saw my arm going like that. I was like, ah! And my mom screaming and crying. I had to drive myself to the damn hospital. She was so going crazy. You, you were taking care of her. So yes. Care of you. I was just like, mom, calm down. Let's go. I'll drive myself. No, that, that day, look, at my, it was my ego, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 100%. But it's crazy how your adrenaline just blocks the pain and honestly it makes you a better writer because you you get back on and you know what i i think i think that's that's helped like what with and with my team like my experience is riding these horses que no son riding so many different <laughs> horses bajar. Uh -huh, porque en mexico te, pues nosotros rentamos caballos you know we didn't take our own horses and we've always siempre hemos rentado caballos y nos cre creo que eso nos ha ayudado a que lo que te toca y gracias a Dios like these last couple years yeah, yeah they give good horses que mi entrenador yeah. nos ha dado muy buenos caballos que, que porque él también entiende que okay, yo las entreno este yo I want las success conoce, yeah. Yeah, y él sí, sabe sí, sí, qué caballo nombre. te voy a dar entonces es su nombre y gracias a Dios nos han dado buenos caballos pero no es lo mismo que montar tu caballo toda una temporada like it's still hard you know but it has helped um, and, and I do notice with, with I'm sure with, with you guys that having to ride different horses like here it it does make you a, a better rider well we always borrowed horses to rented horses too when we would go to the congresos so i understand what you're talking about but i think it is so cool that you guys get to now borrow a rent saddles and crinolinas and all that that is you know so what? cool i think that was i i'm pretty sure i mean i don't know if we started it but to me it's like be I'm pretty sure we started because everyone, so cool. everyone was taking their own saddles and I thought, okay, I'm trying to, we, ya tenemos que pagar, you know, nuestro viaje and albardas, I get it, pero las acabamos de traer de México y nos las vamos a volver a, a llevar. And sometimes it's like a whole other plane ticket for the damn saddles. Yeah, y las yeah. albardas pues cuesta caro, entonces aparte que carga uno con, con vestido, con todo, and I did, you know, I remember um, I would tell my trainer, can you rent us the saddles? Y después era, pues, crinolinas. Me acuerdo una vez que estábamos batallando con almidonar crinolinas y como nomás vamos cuatro días y apenas te alcanza para entrenar, se ca no yeah. tienes tiempo se de, de and... almidonar. Entonces le dije a mi entrenador, réntenos crinolinas. So smart. So now, I, I even think in Mexico ya yeah, es como un paquete que te it ofrece. <laughs> They did that. That's what Edith did. Yeah. Alejandra did that with the little girls. And esa fue la primera vez que yo, I was like, I was ready to haul everything and like. No, yeah, I remember I, like, I said I am. No, te renta la que no le. And I even had like I even had my big bag, my travel bag that says Conchita on it. You put your saddle and your gear and your everything fits in there, and you take that. I mean, usually we would leave from Tijuana though, so it would be a little less expensive. But no, yeah, for, but it, for you us, still it's have expensive. to haul it. You have to, yeah, and 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 for me, like as a captain, it was more like I don't want to worry about si mi crinolina se almidó no o no. Like I rather just. And, and everything's more affordable in Mexico, so I'd rather pay for it. I'd rather pay. Y, y no te tienes que, lo único que, que te focus es entrenar. No que si tu, si tu crinolina está almidonada. Obviously, estar en una albarda que no es tuya sí es más incómodo, but I mean, that's what makes you también, you gotta toughen it out. Like, yeah. drink some uh, ibuprofen <laughs> and let's go to practice. You know? No, it's true. Yeah. But all these challenges that we would go through is really just made, I think, makes us better writers and more confident, mm -hmm. too. So mm -hmm. I think it's good. Yeah. yeah. yeah and no, I yeah, think it's... So fall off your horses, ladies. <laughs> it's okay. Just get back on. Dirt in the skirt. And don't cry. Don't cry. I mean, I cry every time. I'm big <laughs> Not in public. <laughs> <laughs> you saw me right now, and I am an ugly crier. <laughs> like... <laughs> You cry by yourself and las trailas on the night and the mire, and then you just get your ego is bruised. Yeah. And I remember Ellie one time fell, and then I said, "Are you okay?" She's like, "Well, yeah." And I was like, "It's been exaggerada. Nothing happened." Well, she did. She like broke her toe, but I was like, "You can get on, right? Like you're good." Yeah, I'm good. I was like, "Okay, all right. I'm gonna so, like keep getting on." And on her way back, she was in a wheelchair. I was like, "Oh shit! You really did break your toe. I'm so sorry, but." <laughs> Pero si, lo, pero si le hubiera dicho, ay, pobrecita, o sea, like, oh, no, okay, you're good, no pasa nada, let's go. Y later on, o sea, por tu culpa tengo mi dedo chueco por toda mi vida, <laughs> porque no fui a revisión médica después. <laughs> I know that one congreso I walked around with the splint the rest of the time. Because <laughs> they didn't have a thing to put a cast on me. <laughs> I was in Mexico, I just drank the whole time. <laughs> The pain will go away. Yeah. But see, that's why your Judy from Marquetali, who's made it into semifinales, not once, but twice. Yeah. 
esa actitud, si no tuviera esa actitud, you wouldn't be Judy Arquetzali en, en finales. You know what I mean? And I think you're, es, abriste una nueva meta. It wasn't just la meta, como habíamos dicho, la meta de calificar a Congreso, ir a participar solamente. Ya no es eso. Ya es ir y comandar tu respeto con competencia y echarle competencia a las que tienen súper ventaja yendo a un Congreso de México a nosotros que vamos de aquí. Sí, porque tenemos I mean? tres días en conocer. Aunque son muy, muy, nos, te, nos tocó la suerte que el entrenador nos dio muy buenos caballos, hasta mejor de los que tenemos aquí, pero, pero pues nomás ten, tienes tres días en, en conocerlos. So, yeah, it's a challenge. It's still a challenge. You know, to, todavía es... Actually, es, ese año que dijimos que me prestaste el caballo para mi equipo, o sea, no tenías que hacerlo. Y como digo, tu entrenador ha dicho, no, ¿qué te crees prestarles el caballo? No, pero... Ese año llevamos nosotros caballos. O sea, yo ya no estaba montando, pero iba con mi equipo de todas maneras y llevamos ocho caballos y se regresaron seis. Uh -huh. Fue el último año que es like, ok, ya no conviene estar llevando tantos caballos. Es like, ¿para qué? Si, si ya como les están rentando caballos de, de calibre que, para competir. Entonces, ese año fue, I think it was your, your good juju por haber sí Yeah, I, I do think it was my good karma. <laughs> Porque eran, no, no, o sea, es, entramos en la misma charreada y bien pude haber dicho no, o sea, con toda Quiero ser la razón, mejor de California, entonces no. yo, ¿por qué les voy a prestar mis caballos? Y me acuerdo que mi entrenador, la verdad, nunca dijo, no, él, él creo que usaron un caballo de él, porque él tra de los que él tenía de su equipo, les prestó, porque eran dos, ¿no? Los que necesitaban. Eran dos, ya. Yeah. Yeah. Entonces, yeah. creo que el mío no lo usaron, pero sí el caballo de, de él. And even he me lo consiguió. O sea, he still was that camaraderie, que dijo, ok, no puede ser este, pero ahí está. Entonces, y las dos, ellas también cumplieron hicieron buen papel mi equipo y Judy pasó a las la semifinales. Fue el, fue, ese, fue el mismo nacional donde le robaron los yeah. frenos, ¿verdad? I remember that. ¿They stole your frenos? Before yeah. or after you rode? Before. No, before. Oh, right before. Like, no. fue, fue como una media hora antes, ¿sale, ¿verdad? Ya yeah. yeah. no. los caballos listos para entrar. I, was it, I don't remember if it was you or some, somebody asked me and then I was like, oh, I know this one, Talabertero. Let's go right here. And we didn't have, okay, no traíamos suficiente pesos. <laughs> So you guys had to buy all new frenos? We had to trade our phones because we need one freno. We need a whole freno with everything. And we didn't have enough money para acabarla. And like we literally Dude, everything was happened like, like this because I remember see them, seeing them cry and I'm like, what happened? And then like they told me. Like, I wasn't crying for the record. No, I, I know it wasn't you. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I don't, problem I know, solve. Yes, yes. I know it was not you. She was in problem solver mode. I don't remember who it was, but then I was like, wait, I know this one, Talbertero. Let's go. Vamos. Y ahí les conseguimos todo. We didn't even have our purses, nothing. It was me and I think Fabian. I was like, give me. And they go, look, we have new iPhones. Le dejamos el teléfono y ahorita venimos a pagarle. <laughs> and we traded our phones for the freno. But nowadays, frenos are more than the damn phones. <laughs> so you would have been screwed if it was now. <laughs> so we went and traded that and then got them to ride. They still... get a laugh at you. Like, what the do I want that phone for? And then we went... <laughs> yeah, y luego regresamos a pagarle el freno and got our phones back. Pero fue like... O sea, cosas like, damn... But going, that, yeah, going back another. to that, that was part of, I think, the the success of also of the team, like going through all those like trials and tribulations. With me, it was like, ese año no can't teach that. Yeah, the horses we used no eran de escaramuza, eran de, de los um, González. So they were charro horses. They were good horses, pero no eran de, like, a ver si te hace un giro por ahí. Yeah, <laughs> no, no eran de escaramuza. They were, em, but they were good. They, yeah. you, we made, we made them. Work. Maybe that was a positive thing. Que no estaban chillados, you know. So maybe that was a. Honestly, when the, sometimes they work, <laughs> they work really good yeah. when you when they don't know anything because then they don't have bad habits. Yeah, they were not escaramuza horses at all, but they were good. Yeah. They were still. Yeah, that's what Tommy said. Tenía rienda y cuatro patas, and you I know do what have to, to say do. that I feel like I um, I don't know. I, I think my sister and I, Flora and I, have been very much like, we we like, maybe because you guys were always at our house, you know, yeah. during the, <laughs> the torneos or whatever, and we, we all had like a very a good camaraderie and we were very com uh, close to each other. So I feel like whenever you guys had a success, it felt like it was our success too. Yeah. So it's always been, and aside from that, I feel like even though you guys were our big competition, mm -hmm. it was like, I, I think you're that's not, it for you. Yeah. yeah, you're not our, you're our not competition, competition because it's kind of like you're just like, Yes, we're representing for yeah. It's like the like when, it, when it's you guys, it didn't feel like oh, I'm like fuck, they won or oh, they did yeah. better than us. It wasn't like that with you guys. It was weird. I don't know what it is. It's like 
it's okay. that it's that camaraderie that Judy instilled in the team. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 Eso no se pasa. Honestly, think that like even even this last time, like my niece was there competing with you against you, right? Because that's what yeah, we're, that's all, what we're all, all there to do, competing against, competing against, against each, each other. other. Yeah. But I mean, as long as, for me, as long as long as Arcatelli's and Iris's team do good, I'm good. You know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we had a group chat. I'm like, all right, if Iris is gonna lose to anybody, I hope it's <laughs> yeah, no, it's true. It's true because like. I mean, I think that we all just like love you guys so much, you know, and we've known each we've known each other always. So, but but we've known all of all of each other always. But and it's I just something had, about you guys. I have had girls who come and go, but I, I do think that um, that, that's what I was telling him. Like, I I don't feel I have like there's you talk to everybody, you know, you have to be polite and respectful to everybody because you respect their craft and and. You respect each other as competitors, and I think that's what. And you want to keep your doors open. Yeah. That if I wouldn't have had that same respect for you, I wouldn't have been able to ask you for that horse. No era ni para mí, era para mi equipo. O sea, no te lo ni te lo haya pedido, y si haya sido alguien más que no no convive igual, mm -hmm. no te hayas sentido ni tú ni tu entrenador obligado a ayudarme. O sea, estaba esa puerta abierta que no sabes cuándo vas a ocupar de quién. Y, y aparte y de que la, la, la verdad era que aquí nos, nos ponían como que éramos amigas y rivales, ¿no? Ami but competencia. It was a healthy, you know, we were, uh, what is it? Not rivals, but we were competition. But even then, um, because to me, me yo que, lo, que, lo que yo pensé era, si esto me llegara a pasar a mí, yo quisiera que las únicas que conozco son las de Estados Unidos y quisiera que me ayudaran. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go out of my way to help you because algún día se me va a ofrecer a mí and I want that good karma, you know? And even though it wasn't my horse, I was like, here, and I was like, oh, shit. Ya presté tu caballo. You know, I had una de las muchachas from up north que me dijo lo mismo. She goes, ¿sabes que me acuerdo que una vez tuvimos una charreada y, y uh, actually my friend Claudia, and she goes, me acuerdo que no tenía, las botas eran diferentes. Mm -hmm. Y tú me dijiste, ¿de qué color son? Y pues, café. Oh, here. Y me quité las botas en ese instante. Yo no me acuerdo, la verdad no me acuerdo. Es bonillas. Que dijo, te quitaste las botas en ese momento y me las diste y te quedaste descalza hasta que yo terminé. No sé, like, ni me acuerdo, pero, o sea, esa no es mi competencia. Mi competencia está aquí adentro del lienzo con mí misma, mis puntos. Y eso es lo que, like, Don Vic te clavó. O sea, tu competencia no está aquí. Tú cuando me dices aquí adentro con tus ocho muchachas y tu puntuación, and that's how it should be. Y sea, todas empujándose entre más vayan, mejor. No que, ay, nomás estas tres y que nomás una. Entre más vayan, mejor. Y, y es, como hemos dicho, somos las pochas. It was really somos cool this year because there was so many girls, from so, so many teams from so many different states, like Georgia. Um, there was like some... Yeah, Colorado. Colorado. Washington. It was Colorado like crazy now. now. Like, I didn't even know that there was Charity Atlanta. Like, just we had us in Arizona, Illinois. I know Illinois has been around for a while, though. Like, that's been for a very long time. Um, and it's and it's so cool to see now that it's growing so much. Did, did you I love it? Did you see the post that I did? Where in um, I did one post one day. Que me puse a investigar de cuántos, en cuántos estados se practica la charrilla. No, oh, que se yeah, no, que, que que no, 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 no que se fed, federan, pero que se practica. Primer día puse que 24. Luego me llamó mi madre. Oh, no, ¿sabes qué es? En otro estado no me like, Oh, shit, 25. Dos días después me hablaron de otro estado que no, también nosotros. So, son 26 estados. That's cool. That's more Estamos, than half. Eh, más, de, más, más de la mitad de, de Estados Unidos. That's great. Yeah. We're coming for you, Mexico. We're coming for you. <laughs> y es, es, es más conocido. O sea, <laughs> más and, and part of it is social media que ha ayudado. Yes, absolutely. Like, you know, it's, it's helped a lot. I do think that, like, as... It's crazy because even though we've been around like, you know, we're like well, before social media, before social Without media, saying our but, age. <laughs> but no, no, nobody needs to know about the age. But no, I mean, like we have all represented in in our own way, represented the um, United States in the Mexican for, for, you know, the charreria here in our different ways. You know what I mean? Like you guys consistently making it to the finals it's a huge thing you guys are like silent but deadly you know what i mean like you guys are just like what well, again <laughs> and then you know like like Asalia, they, they you know you guys made a huge difference here because like you guys stepped up everyone else's competitiveness and like and and then like you guys were the first escaramuza i mean like espolador wore suits yes la noria wore suits too but you guys only were suits like you guys stepped up a level that was different too you know what I mean so I think and then like I mean I don't want to sit here and be like him hey, and I did but I mean we don't need to talk about that 
But I feel like we've done but so you, much. But you did. But you did. But you did. Thank you. You know what I'm, I'm saying? But you the did. Exposure. O sea, but even in esta nueva vestimenta, like I, re I remember looking at your team, and I'm pretty sure you had something to do with the dresses because you pretty sure, bitch. What? Because <laughs> we went to you to design one of our, our dresses. You know, <laughs> e, y antes era como pues, it was very like okay, wear, wear, till this day, wear whatever you want. But then I remember it was like fuck, la Noria looks pretty Sin fly, bien vestidas, yeah. bien vestidas, yeah. uh -huh. y, igual con con ustedes. Entonces sí era como que I, okay, we gotta step up our game. Yeah, we gotta step up our game. But till this day, I still see some of my designs getting remade. Really? Like till this day, like that black and white dress. Oh yeah, I was just gonna. That's the, that, that was the one that was in my head. Redone like a million <laughs> times already. <laughs> some, but. I, mean, I don't know, but cool. I think just in general, the exposure, o sea, la, la, que se está conociendo la charreria, conociendo Escaramusa. Like you said, before social media, we, we did the documentary oh, yeah. with, you know, writing from the heart with Pony Highway Productions. Mucha gente que no sabía de Escaramusa, que no entendían cómo era el deporte, the behind the scenes, you know? Some of the girls that right now, like, oh, yeah, I saw the documentary, o sea, y I think I saw fue, it on, it's on Prime, it's available on Prime, I It's think. on Prime right now, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Um, but it's, Uh, Pony Harry Productions can get it. Pero muchas niñas que, que no sabían de eso, like, oh, o sea, les, les abrió la puerta to even look for it, mm -hmm. you know? And, and that's something, they followed us for two years. Two years de seguir toda la charrería. Y ellos empezaron a seguirnos de, um, de mirar cómo trabajaban gente mexicana with the racehorses. Su documental anteriormente era de racehorses. Entonces, ellos miraron por decir, behind the scenes, uh, los que trabajaban con los caballos, que eran gente mexicana, y les empezaron a, a dar la curiosidad de su cult cultura y empezaron por ahí, y luego descubrieron charrería. Y de ahí empezaron que miraron un uh, artículo de, de Press Enterprise que habían hecho de nosotras, que un equipo de, de Miraloma montando, pero gente que no sabía. Entonces, ahí, por ahí se, se abrió poquito de la puerta para que gente conociera más. Y o sea, de eso, ahorita están, ¿quién miramos a Rayanari? On freaking Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. They uh, were on, on the Bravo. Uh, yes. They, they were on the Dior. Episode. The Dior. Oh, Dior my God. I absolutely love that. Like, I love that. That's awesome. O sea, que increíble, like, mainstream like that. Eh? And I Ellas love the montadas. fact, hold on, that they chose an Escaramusa from Estados Unidos. I want to yes. point that out and make that really clear that... Christian Dior chose an Escaramusa from the United States to represent Chararia. Just so wanted to put that out to there. Shout out to That was Rayanari. 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 Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that, that's incredible. Like, that yeah. they would even pick that. So now it's like, okay, in social media, it's like, se está abriendo las puertas para, oh, sorry. Es que, o sea, las puertas, they're open. And then, like, they're open. Los they got Cowboys, down. let's go. I think was like a huge platform because it just, I, I'm so glad that I was a part of it. And then it even showed, like, just how we were the first cowboys. And then it kind of just, if you really think about it, I would like, we went to a rodeo the other day and <laughs> I don't want to say that they copy us, but a lot of the things yeah, that they do the now they team. have like the little drill <laughs> yes. team. And I'm like, Listen, they copy my dresses and shit. I get it, but it's all We used to do that with Tomas Garcilaso at those rodeos, which thing I'm yeah, still we used, out everywhere That was our thing. It. They would Tomas, invite... They, on, here uh, in the United States, they would invite escaramuzas to go and participate and do in the rodeos. And we would be like, you know, make our own little mm -hmm. drill team. Yeah. Now they have their own drill team. <laughs> but it should, it should be, be inspired. inspired by. It's a, you should be like inspired by. <laughs> But, oh, but, but it's good. Yeah. It's exposure. It's so exposure, like said, not for us. Not when they do it at the rodeos. <laughs> but it leaves an opportunity. Exactly. To invite them opens here the door. and talk about to talk do about it. the history because now in, now in mexico it. there's girls who are barrel racers they I, do barrel racing in mexico they it's a big thing now i know and the roping now that yeah. they do over and all there. the guys that it, do the it, roping it's, it's funny because estamos viendo ahora sí con intercambio mm -hmm. lo que, now lo they gotta watch out yeah. for those mexicans because yeah. they're good But, yeah <laughs> well, no, no, so, no, look, at the, look at the pbr yeah they are they are they hate when the brazilians yeah come. the crazy. brazilians take that they shit take over, over. <laughs> But part of that, like the uh, Los Cowboys and and the rea the documentary, it opened up. I think it for all the audiences. Y la mayoría eran los latinos que viven aquí. Y yo he notado um, que hay mucho. Ahora hay muchos equipos dientes de leche, which is little. You see little babies competing. Antes no se veía que iban al nacionalito a competir, right? So se va dientes de leche, la juvenil, la ju I mean infantil. 
ya las caballos de palo, o sea, ya se está abriendo todo eso y es gracias a lo que todos han hecho para difundir, you ¿no? Know, yeah. Pues yo tenía el, deporte. tenía el equipo de las infantiles, eran las casi únicas. Y se hizo porque estaban ahí en la práctica de Ya están bueno, aquí. La Noria, la Noria originally was an infantil team. Ya, yeah, arcoiris. Arcoiris right? and yeah. the nature, yeah, it was originally. So yeah, it's yeah. like, de ahí se hacen, and I think that's part of, es algo que tu equipo también ha sido, like, so successful, porque también ya las teníamos, las estamos haciendo. No están, a ver, déjame escoger quién. No, las estás haciendo y, y empiezas de cero. Y ya cuando puedes, entras aquí. Y ya las tienes, las estás haciendo, por decir a tu manera. Pues antes cuando empezamos, we, went to, empezamos, we didn't have that. We were just little kids riding with adults. <laughs> like, no, and, you, and you know what? Um, ustedes platicaron de cómo empezaron. Tu papá, tu papá. Y, o sea, todos por la familia. Y ahora, en, yo he visto en los, en, que me ha tocado llevar a mis hijas a competir con los juveniles. La mayoría de los papás no son charros. Um, and they, they're hardcore. Like, los que no son charros, he notado que los papás charros es como que, figure it out, tú hazlo, lo tienes que hacer, y, tú, y los, que eres, los que no son charros, los papás están como que ahí listos para ver, you know what I'm saying? Because like, they play softball, they're playing, están jugando otros deportes, que yeah. así es. Así es. That's what we're talking about. It is, so hay que tratar de meter eso más. Y, 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 y lo más he visto y ahora con, lo, con los equipos de escaramuza de niñas, que los papás están, como, y son niñas de cero que no vienen de familia de charrería and the dad los papás son los más como que ¿cuántos puntos? ¿y cuánto? you know I más really que like how to make this one like a part two <laughs> <laughs> well I mean con so much to talk papá. about tu papá tu papá o sea ¿para qué vamos tan lejos? ya yeah, yo yeah, yeah, ¿qué historia tiene tu papá? your dad was in a charro? no he was in a charro mi, mi abuelo fue de campo like you know tenía su ganado are you the only one out of your siblings family? that became how did yeah. you get involved in charrería? well I mean, I, I kind of knew people from my, my hometown that were in it, and I would go, my dad would, he liked it. Me llevaba a ver, um, jari, they were jaripeos or charreadas. So sí me llevaba a ver, and I was always interested in it. I always loved anything that had to do with my culture. So the closest thing to it was baile folclorico, so that's what I did. And then afterwards, I started, I was like, oh, I want to do that, you know? But then going to that, you know, I'm, I'm got married, or not married, or whatever. My ex-husband would, I would go to the charreadas, y ahí I met, um, which she's not my cuñada, but it's Alicia Castellano, oh, Sandra Naya. Yeah. Yes. So, oh, I love Sandra so too. So the brothers all rode together and then I would meet them. I met them and then they um, they needed a girl. So they're like, do you want to ride? I was like, well, I'm, ya estoy aquí. Pues, okay, let, let me figure it out. I'm going to be here every Sunday. Yeah. Y tenía mi niño chiquito, tenía Julián que tenía dos años y fue como me metí. Y como ese primer año fui a un nacional, that's why I was... I got competitive. Me gustó la competencia en the whole. Hasta ir a, a México y tener que quedarte con tu equipo. It's like a, like a camp, you know, because you have to stay with your team. You have to practice. You have to do this. So I think I was addicted to, to that. But yeah, my, me, y a lo mejor el amor, el, antes decía, pues no, mi familia no es de charrería, pero en sí mi abuelo sí era de campo. Era de caballo y de campo, pero no competía. And my dad was like, I'm not going to do anything that I had to work. You know, eso era trabajo para mí, no era diversión. So he wanted nothing to do with horses, but I liked it. Ya yeah, cuando yo lo hacía, mi papá sí. Um, he was very, I know he was very proud. Like the restaurant and we had my, my siblings se, se enojan porque dice, son puras fotos de Yuri <laughs> y sus hijos. <laughs> yeah, because like, well, my dad put them up. I don't know. You know. So I know they were. But deep was, down inside, you're like, <laughs> He was very proud. Yeah, so that Nacional, that um, we made it to semifinales. I remember I was by myself. Like, my mom didn't want me to go. Or, like, my son fue el que me dijo, you have to go, mom. I was like, oh, okay. And it was the year that my that my dad passed away. So I remember going to the bathroom, like, okay, please. Antes de ir con la juez, like, échame la mano, you know, con la juez. You uh -huh. have to, I mean, I don't know if it's just me, but, like, I feel like he has, my dad, cause, so both my dad and her dad passed away in the same year. And I, I feel like I literally have some someone guiding every step I do, everything I do. And it's just like everything that's came into my life after my dad has passed away, it has been a complete blessing from him like mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and like, I, I, I felt the same way. Like really that day I felt so alone because I didn't have anybody to celebrate with. But my, you know, my teammates had their parents, they had a husband and, and like I, I literally didn't have, but I didn't have anybody. And I, but I knew my son was like cheering on for me. So I just, I did have to think about, okay, 
my dad is sending me this. Like, yeah. And even practicing, like, me ayudó. Y es algo de escaramuza. Uh, to me, it's like therapy. Si tienes problemas o lo que sea, you get on. When you're practicing, yeah, se te olvida todo. And it helped me through, through uh, you know, a death, through divorce, through it, it clears your, like, to me, it's, It's not free therapy because that shit is expensive. Like, pero, <laughs> pero an, antes, antes decía, yeah. you no, know, es más, más es, por es, lo menos si es terapia recibo. y es más barato que terapia. No, o sea, es, es más, más caro el deporte que ir a terapia. Mejor me hubiera ido a terapia. <laughs> But I do feel like it does help you. Like, you know, it's... Especially because that was a bond that you had with your dad. Like that was, my mom doesn't like horses. Like yeah. she likes them. Like she thinks they're pretty, but she's scared of them. Yeah. So, but my dad, that was like a bond that we had. My sister and I had that with my dad. So it was definitely like, that's one of the reasons why I would want to continue to do it now. Like I don't do it anymore because I just kind of lost, I had so much of my life going on with the shows and things like that. But that's like right. now I'm ready and like I want to do it because I feel like that, that was like the that's just my part of just continuing to like represent him and even though my dad wasn't a charro he was from el campo like you know he did he was a charro when he came here like once he came here and then he learned about it and he became a charro when he was in chicago and then he came here and then it was like he was riding with those charros in riverside and stuff like that and los alazanes and my dad was an old school guy you know but but yeah it's like definitely something that you have yeah. in the bond with your dad and it, you it want to continue bond. to do yeah, it yeah because i remember i would go to the cada nacional after the nacional i would go to mexico and spend time with my dad and then his friends would be there and his amigos eran de caballo me decía ven ya me presumía <laughs> and it was like and he was very you know like not a big talkative guy but Just to know, like, you know, oh, my daughter, she went and siéntate and platica con ellos. So I knew he was very proud just to hear me talk to his friends about my experience and writing. My, my dad was never the type to be like, you did good. You did oh, no, 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 no. He would no. tell his friends, like, <laughs> mi hija's chingona, mi hija sabe montar. Or like when I would slide after, I knew where he was standing all the time. Like he was always in one of the corners, like on the sides, like on the corner of the you circle. Know, you know, by the I know where he was. And I would look at him and he would be like, or he would be like, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was my dad see and my dad's the opposite of you guys my dad had a charro yeah. and and my dad is a luna is hijo. but my dad was a charro but like <laughs> no but i mean he yeah, was like, yeah, like you guys had family back roots. it was just my grandpa de, de mi abuelo y mi papá o sea toda la familia y mi papá tampoco son de caballo like ah, vienen acá de guadalajara vienen aquí a montar los caballos so they're like <laughs> son los de rancho how We're much do you guys hate rancho. that <laughs> When people want to come over and ride your horses, and I'm like, oh, I just literally are having a pony everyone around. <laughs> I'm getting my steps in. <laughs> my dad was, it was the opposite because la primera vez que calificamos nacional, I'm like, ta, ta, la hicimos, la hicimos, nos toca. He's like, oh, otro pinche gasto. <laughs> and it's expensive. But we had two daughters that did it. We had three. We had three. And my dad, too. That shit is expensive. You okay, know, I went to two did. nacionales with two daughters. Yeah, it's expensive. Imagine you're riding in Escaramuza de Reinas with buying two suits for every year with the gear that matches each one and the Escaramuza that you ride in. No, and see ours, but I mean, it's the same thing because Papa, yeah, my dad's Jorge Torres. It's like, is he going to take me to a volleyball game? So, I mean, I no me gustaban los deportes ni la escuela. So, si no tuviera esto de Escaramuza that was... Con eso me iba a amenazar, o no montas pues, o no, o no tienes cada... Da, 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 da. Y a fuerzas cada viernes era la práctica. Cada domingo era la charreada. O sea, that's something que... que that's, that's prices. O sea, ¿cómo más... ¿Con qué más nos íbamos a comunicar o bond over? Porque no teníamos nada en común. Yo era, like... I was doing Chattanoia my own thing all the time. And Chattanooga is such a beautiful thing because it is such a huge, 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 and there's so many people, but it's small. Like, a, like there's only a handful of people, there's a handful of people that can sit here and say, like, nosotros somos la familia charra. Like, that's huge. Because it's not a lot of us, but there's a lot of us. Yeah, and, and I'm glad to see it growing. And I hope those girls that are going now, like, uh, estoy mirando cada semana lo, los anuncios de las escaramuzas que van a ser la monumental de, you know, the United States. I'm happy for them. Que bueno. What is that? I, yes, I didn't know. Yes, yeah, each, they got, they Picked how many, cuántas son? I don't know. It's kind of what 12. you used to do. Like, tú, tú fuiste con la, el equipo oh, de reinas de... Escaramuza de reinas was always eight girls until her last year. Oh. She did a monumental. She was the first one to do a monumental. That's when it started. Okay, okay. So the monumental was then later, like, it was like she got all the girls that she ever rode with in her team. It's not like oh, a bunch of girls okay. that make friends and stuff like that. It It's just a... Her all last the girl, year, her like last year, her despedida. Her despedida. Oh, okay. And it was all the girls that rode in her escaramuza 
en, en esa hermosa reina. Well, the one that's now that I'm saying the mon monumental from United States, like, good. I hope they have those experiences, you know? Que siga creciendo y que convivan así igual y que, y que tengan relaciones que sus hijos se van a cuidar, like mm -hmm. ours do. Yeah. You know? like, yeah, because that's, that's nice. Like, I'm sure the feeling of you competing is different than seeing your daughter compete. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, and like I, I said, Isabella is concha. Dude. She's, <laughs> she's my mine. child. She yeah. just birth and her. that's crazy like me and her damos el chongo all the time and it's like and we are nothing alike in any way sense whatsoever <laughs> whatsoever she is my child 100 so it's like I, i hope they have that that's literally i'm like oh come get your daughter like i don't know what to it's do crazy. with her i don't have any kids and all of my friends kids yeah. love me yeah <laughs> like they Anali all want to hang out yeah they all call me tia concha yeah and <laughs> at least izzy nadia too <laughs> she calls me tia Everybody's concha different backgrounds o sea, todos crecimos diferente diferentes you know careers diferentes relaciones hasta la fecha todo completamente diferente o sea, te digo a mí no me gustaba ir a las charreadas until I was competing no me gustaba ir con shorts my hair was pink me regañaba mi papá all the time you know but it's like cada domingo ahí vamos todos es la familia y si nos crecimos en y me da gusto que Isabela está like, tiene la misma experiencia, experience. Yeah. Yeah, lo, lo que hicimos inicialmente en conocerse, que, you know, vaya a analizar her cousin, you know, y, y cosas así. It's like, that, like I said, that, that's Concha's daughter. Like, that's, tienen ese. A ver si me cuidan support. cuando estoy vieja. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Te las vamos a mandar a las dos a ver si no nos las regresas. <laughs> so, it's good. So, I hope a lot more of that happens. And, Agustín, I think you're crucial in that as well. O sea, exponiendo tener esta plataforma que no es común y no se ha hecho. I think that that's something to be props very to commended you, yes. to. You're, you know, le estás buscando la manera y, y para el beneficio de todo. O sea, la charrería, hacer esto más grande, más reconocido. You know, en veces, cuando cada vez que alguien está haciendo algo diferente va a ir con, con la crítica y es lo mismo cuando yo estaba peleando que porque me dejaban hacer esto y esto y eso no que estaba haciendo trampa like, you know what y ahora lo hacemos todo so, siempre hay que tener a alguien innovando innovando ¿Sí? por enfrente y haciendo las cosas para que crezca el deporte y ojalá y se vea más como estábamos hablando un, un nivel que se beneficia a todos que se pueda competir como hacen los you know professional athletes y seguir disfrutando pero cuidando la, la, la tradición y la cultura y lo que es la pasión por este deporte because yeah. I think that's what brings us all here together is la pasión que tenemos for the sport yeah. and our friendships and our friendships of course <laughs> pero pues yo no fui el primero pero yo no fui el primero fue el primero fue Celso Treviño en, en el durante la pandemia cuando empezó el podcast de la imaginaria which I was telling oh, Judy that's to awesome. the, yeah I and, didn't know about it but technically it was that <laughs> Technically, it was that other man that you said, right? That he didn't even know he, what he was doing was a podcast, but he was interviewing. Yeah, but it was different. Oh, okay. This was a long time ago. Yeah. And you're moving with the times because, o sea, haciendo podcast es, es algo nuevo. It's, I'm very, very anti everything social media. I'm like, don't, don't look at me. I don't. Pero, o sea, o, o, síguele o te quedas atrás. And I think that's es algo muy bueno que estás. Empujándolo y que nos des y, esta y oportunidad de, de comadrear un rato uh -huh. <laughs> y de recordar de, de los <laughs> varias veces ¿no? de, de recordar como los viejos tiempos y, y a las personas que no estuvieron en esa época que, que a lo mejor oh wow así era antes y a los que sí it's a little like a back in memory lane you know like oh yeah I remember this and I remember that and so mm -hmm. yeah una de las razones que pido que se vistan de civil es para no intimidar a la gente de afuera que quisiera practicar esto. Por mínimo intentar, para que ellos también reconozcan que también somos gente común, you ¿no? Know? Y yo, yo lo veo como, esta, como una manera de, como que, la ideología de los brazos abiertos. Eso, por eso, por eso las razones de que pido que se vistan de civil y no de charro. It, it humanizes them, you know. You can relate to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pero igual como estamos hablando, como al abrir las puertas, uh, nos, como nosotros que ya tenemos tiempo y estamos en esa, um, en esa etapa en medio, ni de antes, ni, de, ni tan you know, modernos, a uh, mantener la cultura y el respeto al deporte, 
Entonces, igual como yo trato de dar clases o invito a muchachas, o como habíamos dicho, Vicky, ha empezado a muchas muchachas. Muchísimas, de aquí. You know, entre ella, Elsa, like, también yo, o sea, hemos traído muchísima gente al deporte por well, you too. maneras, I know. Okay, so muchísimas, how you start? Well, you I know, I know. They go Did hang out at your ranch and then all of a sudden, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pero igual con esa misma responsabilidad de enseñarles de todo a todo. O sea, cómo, cómo se respeta el atuendo, cosas así que, que, que it's our responsibility. Arcatelis was, um, was it already a team before you got in or did you make no, Arcatelis? You made So what team was it that you rode in prior to Arcatelis? Prior to that, I rode in Escuelas de Plata, which oh, is... Oh, I remember Escuelas uh, yeah, de Plata. Yeah, yeah. yeah so the, I think the, the person who found that team, uh, Maria Diaz, she used to ride with Alteñitas. I'm sure you guys remember, remember Alteñitas. So her and her sister... Um, branched out and then they started Escuelas de Plata and allí ya estaba Lichina. Yeah. I remember them going so fast all the yeah, time. Because I remember, I remember like, seeing <gasps> them. That's the girls I saw. I was like, damn, I, I want to do that, you know? Yeah. But um, that's when they branched out and it was Lichina, Sandra, um, Erika Lopez. I'm trying to think who else. And then they were the, like, and then um, Maria and her sister, they stopped writing. So then we're like, oh, well, what a, I rode with another team after that. I think um, Angie Castellanos, I made her ride with me one time. I told her, I'll pay for your dance at the club, and I didn't show up. Yeah. <laughs> and you didn't show up? Yeah, we didn't show up. I was like, Angie, porque su cuñada Angie no podía montar. Florear, huh? yeah. Angie's the only one. I swear, I've always wanted to learn how to florear. If anybody wants to teach me how to do it, I am down. I try so hard, and I suck so bad, and she was always so good at it. And we needed a girl, and we would practice at her ranch, but um, we rode that year with that team, and I, come, I was like, Angie, come on, ride. And she's like, nope, nope. And there was, she, you know, she was in Tavanda and we liked going to the clubs too. So I was like, I'll pay your entrance and we'll go to the club with you. She's like, you're going to go? I said, yeah, we're going to go. And we, we didn't. So since then, <laughs> she never she's like, no, she's that like, that soy la charra mal pagada. <laughs> porque nunca, <laughs> nunca me pagaron. Like I, and one of I the like girls, yeah, so one much. of the girls from so the team, um, it was Mayra Avalos and Erika Lopez. They, they did show up and they showed up to practice. Like they went out, they showed up to practice, but they were like early. They were on time. They were ready to go. Yeah. But yeah, and, that, and then after that, um, that's when we started Arquetzali. Like the same girls, we, we branched out and started Arquetzali. Mm -hmm. And from then, I've just been grabbing the sisters of the team. But see, it's, yeah. it's your own. You make them in there, and, and that seems that's a big deal. My dad, yeah, my dad thought he was already in the clear. Que ya lo había hecho, ya. Hizo su lienzo, his retirement race, everything. Ya viene Isabela. Apa, vamos a practicar. He's like, oh, God. How does it make you guys feel knowing that, like, you guys started a team? like your guys' teams that made it like so big and did so much. I don't think we realized that's what yeah. it was when it was happening. Okay, let, let me tell you something. Since I lived in Chicago at the time, your, both of your teams, Arquetel y Salias, eran los equipos de Escaramuza de, de admirar en toda la nación. Yeah. Yeah, I think until people tell you, you, re you don't realize it. Yeah, because I have a, the, one of the girls, she's not little, she's like probably 16, 17 Um, but one of the girls last year from the B team, from the younger team, and una vez le estaba platicando a las demás, I remember I was six years old and tenía seis años y mi sueño era montar con Arquetzali. And I was like, really? She's like, yeah, and now my, I mean, it's, it's the B team, but she's like, and now I'm riding on Arquetzali and I remember, like, that was my dream. Like, I would see you guys and I thought, I want to ride on Arquetzali. She's like, and now my dreams are coming true. Like, I'm slowly. That is so and I didn't, sweet. Yeah, and I didn't, no me di cuenta del impacto, you know, que... Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, wow, like I didn't, you don't realize it until, you know, people actually yeah, tell yeah. you. The, yeah, yeah. Right? one of the girls that rode with one of the teams out here, she, she's también igual older now, and we had one of the last, una de las últimas montas hicimos un show, um, actually again, con Tomás, y ellas también estaban montando, and she was, las dos estábamos ahí esperando a nuestro casa, she's like, oh my gosh, she goes, Estoy montando aquí contigo, estamos montando las dos. Like, o sea, no, no juntas, pero en el mismo evento y estábamos las dos ahí paradas. Una vez llegó, oh my gosh, me acuerdo que quería, quería montar tanto cuando las miraba en estos shows. Y I was like, oh my God. O sea, no, no sabes el impacto. Y, y qué bueno, like I said, the more the, more the merrier. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Yeah, it, and now it, it, it works. Yeah, el, el nivel en, en Chicago, It's en the Arizona. the expectation. Yeah, they have mínimo. really good teams now out there, really good riders that... Now they go, ahora son caladoras, you know, they do caladeros. Oh. Antes no, coleadoras, ahora hasta colean, and they do, but back then it wasn't. So it's cool that that it's getting bigger and, and known. Yeah, I hope Izzy le, le gusta lo de caladora right now. She's like, oh, I'm good. Just so, as we've been performing. But <laughs> I, 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 I never could do that. I, I could, <laughs> yeah, le gusta jinetear. Se están enseñando a colear en la práctica. Y, y 
freaking están aprendiendo de Jorge Torres y Marcos Reyes. I'm like, oh, you guys have any idea like how lucky you are? Who's teaching you? <laughs> and they're like, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my grandpa. We should have both of them on the show. You know what? When Anali went to your house to like, she was learning, and I said, I don't think you realize who Sandy's dad is. Like, I don't think you realize who's who's helping you out. And she's like, wait, what? And I had to kind of explain to her, like he. He's well known for, you know, the big, the arrendador. And I don't think you realize that the favor they're privilege, doing you, you guys the have. privilege. Yeah. Uh, as, as I was like, you're, you're practicing with like Phil Jackson. Yeah. You didn't even yes. realize it. Yeah. <laughs> These girls are learning how to call you. Pues tu papá también era muy reconocido. Hasta Chicago era reconocido. Por eso no sabes que estás con Jorge Torres. O sea, no te imaginas. Like, you don't get it. She's like, no, I'm, I'm, with, I'm with Izzy's grandpa. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, he's Izzy's grandpa he's Izzy's now. grandpa, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, it's, oh, that's Izzy's mom. I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> but, I mean, it's, it's good. Que sigan. Y que bueno que tienen gente. It's better than being floor sister. <laughs> Shout out to floor. Just floor. Shout, Shout out, out to, to floor, floor sister. Her, uh, selfie <laughs> pictures. <laughs> <laughs> not selfie the, her, her camera oh still, god yeah. Yeah. if anybody ever has floor taking pictures of her be, beware okay PSA <laughs> PSA do not let floor take pictures of you anyway thank you guys gracias uh, por acompañarnos um, gracias por acompañarnos este para las creo que las dos tienen muchas seguidoras seguidores no, y seguidoras y fans <laughs> pero para los que no las oh. conocen um, denos sus Instagram uh, sus handles de so, de las redes sociales. Uh, Are you going to type it all on the bottom? Just because it, <laughs> it's Adi Vet Salcido. On both TikTok and Instagram. Please follow me. I don't have TikTok. A mí me encuentran en los comentarios de Concha. <laughs> <laughs> Peleando con um, todo el mundo. <laughs> my account is private. Peleándome con la, los seguidores de Concha. <laughs> it's uh, Sandy Towers. Yeah. It's Sandy underscore Sandy towers. Sandy underscore towers. Under, towers. Towers, porque ya no había torres. So then I can't say it. Smart towers. That's a good one. That's, that's a good one. Yeah, Torres. Right. Torres. Okay. Well, gracias a las dos Thank por acompañarnos. Thank you for having us. This was, this was a lot you. of fun. It was. Um, informative and brought us all back to Can memory lane. Can we just point out, this is our third time putting it because the first <laughs> no. time we did. Second time. No. Second time because the first time we got really drunk. <laughs> what? Take that part Don't out. Don't take it out. It's true. We got too drunk the first time we messed up. So take three, take two. I don't know what take, but this is take five. two for really two point five. But, but yeah, the first time. Was don't be shy. <laughs> don't be shy because you were I all don't red. Know what you are talking about? <laughs> yeah, we, we, we. I do not know what you are talking about. No. <laughs> we have yeah. Don't put that raw footage of the first one out. <laughs> but it, but it was fun. And, and I have a TikTok we made. <laughs> From it. Uh, from it, yes, I haven't posted it because I've been waiting for this <laughs> And <happen>. we're out. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys for... Thank you. For, hey, gracias, Concha, por abrirnos tu hermosa yes. casa. <laughs> thank y you. Ser buena cantinera. Y <laughs> <laughs> being a gracious host. Thank, thank you. you for, thank you for coming. Ese señor de las ganas Desde que estaba pequeño Me enseñó por este mundo a caminar Por eso lo quiero tanto, por eso lo quiero tanto Y nunca, y nunca lo voy a olvidar Siempre.